All right, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, what's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another exciting episode of Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door on GameCube. Having a great time with this Let's Play, and today's chapter is just gonna open up this game. Now that we got Admiral Bobbery, there's a lot more places to take a look around and explore within the sewers, so I can't wait to do that. There's also the ability to turn into an origami paper boat, which I remember there's a couple spots in the sewers to do that as well. So today's just gonna be an overall awesome episode. Thanks so much for watching. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm going to prepare before we actually jump into chapter six, so keep that in mind. And just sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay, get pi get uh, get hyped up for the Origami King, which is happening on my channel very, very soon. So if you guys haven't already seen, we've got tons of Paper Mario uploads that we're doing over here. The uh, Origami King is happening on the 16th of July. I want you guys all on board. Set reminder, click on that button right over there. Uh, and then, of course, if you guys have more time throughout the week and you gotta, and you want to watch even more Paper Mario content, definitely take a look at our completed... Paper Mario gameplay for Nintendo 64, and then get caught up on the previous episodes of Thousand Year Door. It's an amazing game. Honestly, I don't know if there's going to be any better game than Thousand Year Door. Just the way I'm playing it right now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let's get that HP, shall we? Yeah, boy! Let's get that HP today! Alright, thanks for coming. And, uh, of course, we've got members-only chat on right now to prevent any potential spoilers. So thanks so much for uh, respecting that. Well, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you, amigo. So this was part of the previous chapter. Remember, we were uh, like stuck on an island, and uh, yeah, we had to go find a treasure. We found like uh, Pirate King Cortez, and we had to battle him. I tried a little bit of a one HP build with Mario, but that one was really hard to do without any spike stomp. I'm sure it's possible, and with enough time and research, I'm sure I could do it, but. Nah, not right now. So anyway, I am uh, I'm thrown out here with uh, with five HP. So we just got to get out of here. So I don't honestly know how I'm how am I getting out of here? Wow, that was a jump that I was supposed to do. Okay, okay. Well, interesting. So we got thrown out, and then we're going to move on and see what's up. We okay, beautifully done. I'm honestly curious what happens if you go back in. Do we get any items? Do we get to say hi to Cortez again? What's up, dude? Uh, we're gonna do all the little side quests uh, today, so yeah, stay tuned for that. There has to be a star shard here, right? Like, I would totally hide one. Anything? Anything? No, no, okay. That's interesting. Why even allow um, to come back? Maybe there's going to be a specific, like, favor or something that you have to do in this area? I don't know. Anywho. So we're out of here. Let's, uh, let's head on back and- Oh, hey, what's up, dudes? Whoa, that was like an earthquake in there. Are you alright? I am. Whoa, you beat Cortez. Wow, you're really something. Yeah, now that you've got some free time, why don't you get us out of here? Um... Oh, look! There's a little bomb spot. All that shaking caused the wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. If we could break down this wall, I think we could escape. All right, that's pretty great. What, a breeze? How are we gonna bust through that solid rock, though? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. I got a brand new partner in the form of Admiral Bobbery. And remember, we walked up here, like, totally knowing that something was up. And I thought that it was flurry that we had to, like, hit that. Anyway, uh, it worked just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get these yodes, man. This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. Yeah, we gotta go get Frankie. Frankie seems to be the uh, the missing, uh, the missing thing here. So there's a lot of things that I want to do in order to get some really really cool badges that I've never experienced before in my playthrough of this game, some uh, x amount of years ago. Uh, you saved our lives, man. But I'll never forget you. But I need to leave now. What's up, Jana? Hey, how are you? Thanks so much for the super chat. Okay. So, now we're... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, we were over here, right? This is the, uh... The, oh, there's Wacka's Bump. I'll take one more. Thank you. Just in case I want to go cooking. You might as well hold on to it, right? I'm never going to need 25 HP, 25 FP. It's not really something that I'm going to do, but... It's pretty cool. 
All right, so Frankie, I'm just glad my little dame is safe and sound. All right, beautiful. Uh, so now let's go back to town. And let's see what this fool wants. Uh, Mario, welcome back. You, you, wait, welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. So have you found the treasure? How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What, the spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure? And you beat him, but you left all the treasure there? Ah, what were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Uh, well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Could it be? But brother? You, what are you doing here? I came looking for you, brother, all the way to this island I came looking. But ghosts attacked us and our boat just sank. But I found you now. Huh, your boat sank too, so you're all stranded here as well. Yeah, so how are we going to make our way back? Is everyone just gonna, like, jump on top of Mario's back as he paper crane folds into, like, an origami boat and then they just go back? Or is there going to be another boat that shows up? Henry, what's going on? Ah, what was that? Pardon me, guys. Buh -huh. I mean... Buh -huh 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 -huh. Okay. <laughs> so sorry to surprise you. No, wait. No need for the fake politeness anymore. Good job getting the Crystal Star. Oh, yeah, seriously. Good job getting it for me. Oh, I know. Ain't that good old Four Eyes? Yeah, that is Four Eyes. What's he doing over there? Hey, Four Eyes, it's dangerous up there. <laughs> uh, that's funny. What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here. Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as Four Eyes, but I'm actually... Oh my gosh! Buh, buh, buh. I'm the great Lord Crump. Oh man, did I fool you. I was the mastermind in the shadows, running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. What's up, Subtenian? Uh, now, Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over the crystal star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire. Buh. Ay, yikes, Four Eyes was a pirate all this time. Madness. Well, what are we all standing around for? Cannons, people. We must flee. Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Wait. I have it. I'm a genius. We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yeah, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? That's crazy. This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here. Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship? He'll cream you. Cream you. Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have to. I have a duty to protect you. We'll be cannon fodder if we sit here and wag our tongues. We must at least try Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I'm your leader, and I will negotiate with Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to this pirate scum this instant. All right, whatever you want, dude. All right, everyone. Hop on top of my mighty steed, Engerman, and let's go find Cortez. We have to take a little, uh... Wow. We have to take a little dip first. Don't look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Cortez is over here. Maybe we have to talk to him first before going on a ship? What? Ah, uh, it is you again. Did you forget something? C -C Cortez, I have to speak to you. C could you lend me your sh ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? Well, my name is Flavio. We're in big trouble and we could really use your ship. We must protect our crew from bad pirates that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teeniest little while. What are you talking about, mu muchacho? Haha, <laughs> I do not rent the ship for pleasure cruises. 
And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is magical and it cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the mystical skull gem. The skull gem? You mean this? Oh, dang. You! You have the skull gem. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I do. So, alright. What do you say to this proposition, then? Take the gem, hand it down through generations of my family, and lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal. Do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me. You strutting peacock. Huh. <laughs> you must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a pianta and throw a party on the beach. Wait, just a moment. Do not make me have Mario trounce on you again. While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you'll never find it. How would uh, how would that be? Ah, uh, you rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Very well. I accept your bargain, amigo. Now, be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and mate, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like in the old days. So Mario, feel free to thank me anytime for saving us all. But now we sail. Okay, well, let's go to that ship and see what we have to do. Remember, it was in the background of the previous area, so we should be able to just like go inside a pipe and get it. Hey, we're coming too. Oh wait, it's this ship. Let's take them, come on, all for one, guys. Oi, ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hog the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. This is the ship? I thought it was gonna be the ship in the background. All right, whatever. The ship with Cortez on it. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come, to the open waters. Dang. Let's beat good old four eyes. Buh, 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 buh. <laughs> I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, boss of boom? You fire cannons here without my permission, you have nerve, mortal. Boom, look at that. Just ripped right through. What the? Please tell me I actually get to control the ship and fire. Or is this just going to be some cutscene? Mm, I don't know. Welcome, Chris the Hedgehog. Hey, what's up? Thanks for becoming a member today. <laughs> Look at these x knots They're just on the, the little mast over here. Okay, everyone welcome Chris, ladies and gents. So who's going to win this fight? Who is going to win this fight? Man, this one's going to be an interesting one. We've got all the little blue flames over here versus the Potobu, or versus these guys. And the yellow toads are fighting too. Mario, my captain, it's now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. Hey, that's not fair. Why do I have little baby Yoshi on me? That's not, that's a waste of a turn. Well, I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Buh ha ha, enjoy. All right, well, I gotta get out of here. Can't flee this fight. Okay, so we're gonna switch Rooney. I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna go swap partner. I'll have to do the little, um... You know what? I'm just gonna... It's annoying. I have to do this. I need the FP. I can't do anything without FP, so let's... I should have totally went to bed or something, so I was a little bit more prepared for this battle. This is really unfortunate. I want to hit maybe one Mario head? There's one Mario head. There's two... Dang it! I got too many Mario heads now. I might as well go all in. Dang it! It's a little unfortunate. What are you doing? Oh my, four damage, gosh. Yo! -ho! Oh my gosh, big boy. All right, big boy, uh, big boy. Uh. Look at these guys. These guys are punks, these little six turds. That's an x not platoon. Crump commands them all. Where'd they come from? Uh, their HP depends on their condition, but attack is five and defense is zero. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. But they're pretty wimpy, they should be able to handle it, uh, don't you think? So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go regular jump on these guys, because I can do more than six damage on them. Just to mitigate all the damage that my friend- Oh, my friend right here is taking, woo! 
It's a big boy, yeah. All right, let's go. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. Max HP is 30. Oh, I could have knocked him out in one power balance. Dang it. Attack is 3. He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have the, uh, the focus to attack. So get Crump. All right, Professor Crump. I can only do this like two more times. Wow, that's not bad. It's half his health. Just Gonzo. We're good. Alright, Goombale. Yahoo! Ooh! Ooh! Buh! You're not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this! x naught Holy moly! Um... Yeah, so that's the thing. I kind of want to examine them. So I'm just going to jump on this guy. And then I want to examine those dudes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I dodged that one. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is cool. I love this battle. I don't know if it's going to be a different entry, like hanging x knots or just regular x knots. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure. Alright, so you're in danger. That's fine. We're just going to come out here and jump on you. Yahoo! Yahoo! Hey! Out of here, Crump. Oh, don't tell me. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, no. Hey, hey, what? Oh, man, this is no good. I thought I was almost ace for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but uh, but no way I'm out. Hey! Hey! Oh my gosh! What is actually happening? Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much dead. Um, we need to do something. I can't revive you. Mmm. Mm, I can go for the power bounce. I may lose this battle. TBH, I may lose this battle. If I do the star thing, I'd be good. I don't think I can get anything here. It's like Sweet Feast is good. That's really good, but that takes a lot of special points. Alright, so I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for the sweet treat. Say hi, Lobby. Hey, what's going on? Hi, Lobby. Thanks for becoming a member. Holy moly! Oh, four! Whoa! Hey, come on, man! I can't deal with four! And this! Alright, now it's over. It's over, you fools. Alright, let's do this. You think I need a partner? I don't. Guess. No! Oh, no! That's four damage I can't handle! Ow! Oh! Yo! Mia Mama! Oh my gosh! I can't handle the next attack. But if I knock out this dude. I could dodge this every day. I wish I was in peril. Oh, come on! If I don't do this right, I lose. And I can't risk losing. Holy McMoley, this is hard with one partner. I should really get another partner out. But I've been looking for a challenge. I've been looking for a challenge with this game, for sure I have. It's annoying. I need the Mario heads, man. Nah! I got 8 HP, though. This is I'm at full, so I'm good. 
I just can't seem to block this roly poly attack. Yo! Oh my gosh, man! What are you throwing? I don't care who you are. Get out of here, you little turd. Alright, here we go. So I need to do some work. Uh, Multi-bounce is not going to do it, but I need to sacrifice a little bit. Yeah, I need to sacrifice a little bit. So we're going to swap. I'm going to bring in... Um, Bobbery stinks. I hate that guy. Bobbery is the worst, actually. I could do Vivian. Vivian could do some work. Vivian's got a, a lot... Or Enderman. Yeah, Enderman could do some work. Vivian, though... Yeah, let's see Vivian. We could do Fiery Jinx. Attack all foes with flames and set them on fire. That's a little too expensive for me. But, um... Yeah, mm, maybe. There we go. There we go. All right, I win now. G comma G's, buddy. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Here we go. Now we win. Now we win. Okay, 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 okay. Get ready uh, for this one. You shade fist. I'm going to punch these kids in the mouth. Now we win. Ladies and gents. Yahoo, yahoo. Hey, 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 hey. All right. <laughs> I just needed to get enough HP to mitigate an attack, or at least do a, a dodge on that stupid roll attack, and then win, and then level up, and we need HP so bad. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, boy. What do you guys say? Should we finally do it? Should we dip into HP so that never happens again? Oh, my gosh, man. That was rough. That was real rough. What do you guys think? HP? Yeah? Those of you guys at home, unable to chat due to spoilers? We ready? Yeah, HP gang. Yeah, let's go. Not ever. Sorry, man. I want a little challenge with this game. Like, if I had so much HP, it'd be an easy cakewalk. Man, this is getting old. How can I lose again? I hate losing. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus. Gah, and with that pow, I'm gone. Hey, we did it, Mario. It'll take him a while to recover from that. Way to go! Eat seaweed! <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, here we go. That was cool. I didn't realize that, like, Chapter 5 has, like, so much lingering stuff. Like, usually it's... You beat the boss, then it's kind of done, and then you go from there. But, no, that was cool. Battling Crump was fun. It was a little challenging. I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't have full HP, full FP. I had to waste a couple turns. But it was it was challenging, yeah. Oh man, you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again. And tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one Crystal Star in my hands and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Hmm. What are we going to do? Oh, this is Peach Interlude here? Great. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. She seems upset. Tech? What was that? Uh, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? <laughs> Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I'm unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Uh, Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view, but I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. Uh, no one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that permit no entry. 
But there is a way. You'll be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. Okay. See, like, I like playing as Princess Peach in these little interludes. I think they're great. I don't know, there just hasn't been anything as exciting as the first Paper Mario. Like the first Paper Mario, you get to bake a cake, you get to go on this crazy quiz show, you find a toad in a closet, you get to turn into like a Koopa with a parasol. Uh, go in the direction of Sir Grotus's room, exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. I don't know, these peach interludes, oh not that way. <laughs> the peach interludes are more like Stockholm Syndrome and it's like borderline creepy, I don't know. But you do get to take a shower though, that's kind of cool. Now I will uh, have to concoct, well I'll have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. Oh my gosh, you mean a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? This is terrible. You must first set all the potions on the desk in the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I don't know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. You're just gonna randomly listen to notes and then drink a potion. How about no, because that's dangerous. I don't have to help tech at all. How about that? How do I access a note? Orange potion, cool. Green potion. Red potion. Blue potion. Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be like a little logic puzzle that we're gonna figure out together. Okay. I'm gonna take some notes here. All right, here we go. Um, red, not on far right. No, place the blue potion next to the red potion. Oh my gosh. Blue next to red. Okay. No, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. Oh my gosh. Two potions between green and red. Okay. Two potions. Hold on, hold on. Place two potions between green and red. Okay, so that means that red has to be first, if there's four. Red, something, something, green. Okay, and then it says blue next to red. Okay, so it's gonna be red, blue, whatever color, then green. Just based off of that, red. Blue, orange, oh my gosh. Here it goes, green, <laughs> oh my gosh. Red, blue, orange, green. All right, here we go, check this out. Red, not on the far right, that checks out. Blue next to red, and it is. Two potions between green and red. And that's it, blue and orange, that has to be it. It's logic. Very well. Then please cue the button control panel. Uh-huh, uh-huh, is this it? No, it's this one. Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Princess Peach, I would be nervous as if I were you. Like, why Why are you doing this? Please press the button where the beaker stops to dispense each potion. What? Why did you go back? What? I'm pressing it! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Why are there extra doses? Oh my goodness. Did I do this right? I don't know if I did this right. I'm just pressing buttons. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after- Oh no! What? Come on, man! Alright, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go, here we go. Stop watch. Watch this one. Turn your volume up on your computer really loud, okay? You ready for this? Turn your volume really loud on your computer. Um, how did I do this one? 
Here we go. You ready? 30 seconds. Dude, how did my timer? Where's my stopwatch? Here we go. Refresh. All right, here we go. Watch. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 30 seconds. seconds maybe approximately okay I'm pressing it <laughs> okay I'm drinking this green putrid potion oh my gosh here we go by my calculations it should be finished but uh, did it come out correctly do you think I don't know I'm just gonna drink this potion and die very good then please drink it. All of it, if you please. I don't know if I got it. What, drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. This is actually terrible. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Did, uh, I'm... Oh, I thought that was like... I'm Beaker Princess. Or Flask Princess, or whatever. <laughs> but I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Oh my gosh. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent? No way! Oh, fine, I guess. If it's the only way. This game... Is a little, like... This game is a little borderline... Adulty. Uh, when you go into Sir Grotus' room, first locate the disc with the recorded data. And then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus' room. Alright, so now we actually control Naked Peach. I can't believe my life. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why are the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? It won't, okay, uh, that's not the door. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, the devs? I don't know. There was someone that really, really liked Peach. <laughs> the dev team in NCL, when this game first came out years ago, they must really like Peach. Adding the shower scene, adding Peach walking around naked on a spaceship, like... Okay, I guess. Uh, fan of the Batman Arkham games to play on stream, that will not be happening. That's a little uh, out of my demographic. And I don't have time for that stuff either. But thanks for the uh, super chat, Marco. This must be Grotus' room. Now, where's that disc? Alright, well, the disc is somewhere. I don't honestly know what a disc is. What's a floppy disc? Okay, here's his computer at least, but I still need that darn disc. Oh, I found it. This must be it. The data disc! You guys know what these are? What an ancient relic. Oh, yeah, now I insert the disk into the computer and connect to the network. That has to be a jingle of some sort of old Nintendo game that I'm really not familiar. First person to, uh, to recognize that jingle. Let me know. was that? That was like Mario and Luigi jumping up? What is actually happening over here? Looks like it's all done. Better put the disc back where I got it. There. Looks like I was never here. I like those fish. I like that plant. All right, birthday suit, get back. What happens if, like, the potion just ran out right now? Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. 
Now I'll teach you how to become visible again. It's quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. That's right, go put on your dress first. <laughs> oh my gosh, drink the green potion. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here, the green potion, right? Oh gosh, I don't think this is gonna work out. Okay, it did. What a relief. I was kind of worried I might uh, never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Interesting. What's up, Mario fan? With the fifth crystal star, you got the upgraded sweet feast. I did notice that. Thank you. No need to point it out, but appreciate it. It costs five um, star points or star gauge meters. I mentioned that earlier if you were uh, listening to me when I'm talking. <laughs> But if my prediction is correct, uh, if it is correct, what? Thank you for the super chat, though. No, I cannot afford to make any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. All right, you'll tell me when the when you decipher the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. Here we go. Words per minute. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Done. Not even three seconds. Million words per minute. She's so fast at typing. Yo, remember the game Mario teaches typing? It should be Princess Peach teaches typing. Because you guys will be like, world record? You'll be at it. What's home row, man? Whenever I type, I hunt and peck, dude. I go like this. <laughs> Is that still a thing? In the year 2020? Hunting and pecking? That's what it was called back in the day. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Is that still a thing in the year 2020, hunting and pecking? Just flexing my home row skills over here, sorry. Flexing my uh, 700 words per minute over here, sorry. What are you guys doing here? Black, what's this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. Should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Oh, wow, yeah! Oh, man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bob -omb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole idea is extremely bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Go, oh, bam, got it. I am the man. <laughs> now we can crush Mari and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, the luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? But somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet. This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you need to know, or everything you know now. Um, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait. What am I afraid of, you? Ba 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 ha If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report. Buh. Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> oh, dude, I got Goombas and Koopas, man. Get over here. You dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Yeah, get them. Oh, spiky ones, too. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dorks. Super bomb bomb. Incoming! Ooh, doink. Huh? That was it? Was that your big weapon? It didn't even go off. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, crud. Really, Bowser? 
Okay, that's really... That's making Bowser seem really dumb. Like, Bowser's smart. Like, he, he can kidnap everything, right? I don't know about the writing on that part. There's some opportunity in the writing there. Like, maybe a little bit of hot potato back and forth, and then in the middle, when they throw it, it blows up everyone. Like, that would be cool, but Bowser being stupid enough to blow it up? I don't know. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, oh, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Uh, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it. Uh, then am I not correct to see Captain Mario? Ah, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we'll like this place. Yeah, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a, it's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Sean Graham on hey, thanks for the super chat. I'm sure they'll be all right here, don't you think? Let's leave, Mario. Thank you. Do we plan on fighting all the bosses? Absolutely will. Absolutely will. At least on the finale, we're going to seek out all the bosses. We're going to do the Pit of 100 Trials, so that's exactly what we have planned. Yes. And in case I need to say it again, thank you guys so much for super chats, but I don't need any hints. <laughs> I don't need any hints. I don't need any tips. We're going in completely pseudo-blind with this one. Um, and unless I blatantly ask you guys, like, hey, you know, what do we have to do at this point? Um, then that's pretty much when I'd ask you guys for that, and I would expect an answer. So please, uh, no backseat gaming, no dropping any spoilers. Just That's why I left the members-only chat, to kind of mitigate some of that stuff. Thank you for the super chats. I mean, if you want to drop a, a hint via super chat, I'm down with the super chat. I won't necessarily read it. But uh, that, that's on you guys. So anyway, thank you so much for understanding. Thanks for respecting that. And uh, let's continue on, right? It's a cool game. I just want to experience it on my own. And this is also a game that a lot of you guys have not experienced either. And I do understand that a lot of you guys are experts. Trust me. You guys know this game like the back of your hand. That's cool, but keep it to yourself. Of course, it's only because of my courageous efforts that we return uh, at all, huh? But of course, you know all that and know it well. Yeah, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, uh, where are you all leaving already? Ah, that was harsh. Uh, such is life. Captain Mario, you were anxious to continue your own adventure also. Ah. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If you, uh, if ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio into the wind. <laughs> that reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keelhaul Key, just say the word, okay? I'll send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yeah, yeah, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone... So I must be excusing myself as well. If you see me in town, I permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Ah, uh, so Mario, don't you think maybe we should go too? Maybe go to the door? Don't tell me what to do. What did I just say, Vivian? Allow me to pronounce your name wrong every time. Gonzalez, that's you, bud. That's gotta be an email from Princess Peach. I like that mute. That's from Super Mario World. That's like my childhood. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there is an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of the some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Rock on, that princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we ought to get to work too. Oh, trust me, we're gonna get to work. Oh, we got a lot of work. That was 40 minutes? We have at least an hour's worth of work before we even start this chapter. So I hope that you guys will sit back and relax, enjoy the stream, and watch me as I build a monster. It's gonna be fun. 
Anyway, thanks so much for being here, guys. All right, so if we stumble across Luigi, I will absolutely talk to Luigi. I don't care about no email. Forget that. Into the spam folder it goes. Uh, we can go see the Crystal Star, yes. I'm sure I have... Oh, what are you doing outside your hut? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yeah, this was destined. When I consulted my star chart charts, I saw a portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair, near the empty black chest that cursed you, lies a clue to help your allies learn. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Say that again. Near the empty black chest that cursed you, I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt it's important to the sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, uh, tell me immediately. Hey, thank you, Mike Hill, for the birthday wishes. Thanks. I mean, my birthday is every day this week, so yeah, we'll continue to take birthday wishes today. Thank you. It's my birthday week, man. <laughs> uh, come and tell me immediately. So I need to do this because I presume that what he means by that is if I, if I find this power... I'll be able to spend my star sprites in order to get my characters even stronger. That's my presumption. Okay, so add one more thing to the list of things we may have to do. He said something about going to the Hooktail's castle past the reversible stair in the chest where you once got cursed. So kind of... Oh my gosh, I don't know, man. But there's a lot of things that we have to do right now. So just add it to the list and trust me, we'll get to it. This is probably like the next area. I'm just gonna go in now because I want to see where it leads. Mega Drive Animation Gamer, yo! Oh dang, what is this? Hello? A new house? Hi, Buckethead. Heave. Oh, Chet Ripple! Yeah, yeah, yeah! If you think you want to change your abilities or partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So, who needs some adjustments? Me! I want more badge points. Boost BP, but it'll decrease HP by a little bit. Oh no, guys. Does that mean I'm going to be running 5 HP from now on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The entire audience is going crazy. No, Abdallah, you need HP. Why would you sacrifice 5 additional HP? You're going to lose a lot. Watch me. Yo, you thought this was a 10 HP run? Things just got harder. Give me those patch points. Right now. I'm finished. So, unless you need anything else, get out of here. 5 HP though. Whoo! Whoo boy. Whoo boy, the reactions I can imagine of some of you guys who are unable to chat right now. You must be going nuts right now. Abdallah, you can't. You need HP. Mario's gonna die in one hit. Trust me, we got this. We got this. I'm in it for a challenge, man. Like, I've played through the game normally years ago. That's fine and dandy. But let's try a challenge here, am I right? Give me this! Power plus P, baby. Ooh, and a flower saver. <gasps> I love flower saver. Yes, I do. But I love my partner as being stronger. Partner as being stronger is hyper offensive. You know what? I can do it. And then I just need a little bit more. You know, I don't... Hmm, hmm, power is being stronger. Partner is being stronger is great and all. But I like flower saver. You know what? You know what? I can get Flower Saver. Let's just do this. Alright, fine. You know what? We're gonna do it. Let's go. Alright, no more trading. We're done. We're done. We're done. Okay, so that's what I needed. And then we have to go to the Thousand Year Door. But luckily for us, we got a shortcut right here. Or is this even a shortcut? Uh, this is not necessarily a shortcut. I don't know what this area is. This is just helping me get to the underground sections. Uh, that I uh, saw through earlier. And this goes even further down to the uh, Pit of a Hundred Trials. 
Oh, Hammer Bros are in here now. Okay, that's interesting. Was not expecting that. And I have a whole bunch of badge points I could put on, like, right now. So... Like, I got, I got six of them. So we're gonna put on a couple things. P down, D up. No, I need some good stuff. I like charge. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. Damage, dodge, two. Yeah, defend plus. That's decent. FP drain is okay. HP plus, hammer throw, head rattle. These are some really garbage ones. Last stand. Power plus P is for six. I mean, I could put it on now. My partners are gonna be stronger, which is great. So it'll be a temporary fix. Yeah. Ah, ah, oh my gosh, save me! <laughs> I'm not ready for that! 5 HP, you're crazy! Oh my gosh, help me! You done? Good. Boom, boom, baby. Let's go. 612. Eat one of these, guys. Oh, man. Let's go. 5 HP. Hype. All right. Beautifully done. See, Orion Lewis, that's what I'm saying. It's so much more entertaining, right? It's so much more, like, exhilarating. These battles are going to be so much more scary because it's so high risk. Like, oh, no, I can't afford that hit. Help me! Oh my gosh! Help me! Who is this? Why are you here? Mommy! Why are you here in the tunnels? Why is he here in the tunnels, though? He should not be here. But that's fine, I get experience, rather than beating on little dudes every time. Oh my gosh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Oh, I can't do anything here. I don't have the super hammer either, man. Yeah, what a waste. Was that Spiky Tom? Yeah, that was Spiky Tom, huh, little carrot? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Spiky Tom from the previous Paper Mario. What's he doing here? And I didn't get a chance to analyze him with Goombella either. So that's unfortunate. Pit of 100 Trials. I'm not ready for it yet. If uh, Apparently, if I do 30 of the battles, I can get Zap Touch Badge. So that anything that touches me, like, I'm electrified permanently, which is a, an amazing badge, by the way. Um, so I'm gonna probably do that maybe next chapter. I gotta get myself powered up, though. That's the thing. Like, I really have to do this. I have to spend a lot of time in this chapter getting Mario to a point where he's going to be amazing. So anyway... Anyway, let's see where this next place is. Now remember, in the sewers, there's so many different little bomb spots that we kind of passed up. And there was also a boat spot, too. So we've got to go in our boat, explore over that way. I do want to find that one little reward, though. Like, if I can get Goombella up to level 2, that would be absolutely outstanding. Okay, so a little fountain and a um, Lincoln Memorial. <laughs> the Lincoln Memorial. Is that the only thing that went through your minds when you saw that? Alright, teleport me to Grandpa Goggles and we'll go from there. Goomba Grandpa Goggles. Grandpa Goomba Goggles. That's it, Triple G. Great news, my friends. The next Crystal Star is in Poshley Heights. Wait a sec. You mean where all the rich and famous live? Like movie stars and stuff? Yeah, yeah. And I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called the Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's a tourist attraction. So a uh, little help here. To get Poshley Heights, we should... That's the best part. You ride the most famous train of all, the Excess Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next Crystal Star shall be yours. Getting those Crystal Stars has been backbreaking work, but this time will be a cinch. But I thought you had to be, like, rich or famous to get an ex Excess Express ticket. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this, too. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Not that psychopath again. Oh, well, I guess we don't have much of a choice, huh? Come on, Mario. Let's go. Excellent. Then we're set. We may not have much time left, so uh, you must hurry. Gather all the information I uh, can. You guys just handle things on, on your end. Okay, great. So this is good. I'm fine with that. Um, there is a lot of exploring that I have to want, uh, that I have to do. So let's let's go let's go exploring. What's in my items right now? Whack is bump honey syrup. You know I actually need to get rid of these slow shrooms. The slow shrooms are hot garbage. So allow me to get rid of that. I'm gonna go to the bad shop on top see if they have anything for me, and then we're gonna go find the uh, the hooktail. Uh, the little hooktail area, we're gonna go hopefully power up our partners by doing that. That's kind of what I'm assuming is what's gonna happen over there. So I do want to find that. In the treasure chest, an empty black treasure chest. I don't know. Oh man, this one's the good power rush P, but I don't need that one. Power, oh, you got another power jump. That's good. I'll absolutely take that. How many badge points? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, happy birthday to me! Yo, did you guys know that in this game, if you equip two of the same badge, your attack is going to be stronger. So that is really good. Alright, that was really awesome. Alright, special deals? No, I need to take a look at others. Charge, damage, dodge. Whoa, 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 whoa! Look at you! Look at you! Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! I sold! I sold mine! I'm not buying! Oh, great. Um, when did I last save? I sold my power rush. Mother. I was not reading that right. I thought he I thought he was selling all those. I did not read that right. Okay, um that sucks. When did I last save? <sighs> yeah, that sucks. That really sucks, but I, I was planning on getting more of them today. I can buy more of them. Here's my power rush back. So look, I didn't lose anything besides 25 coins. It's not a big deal. So now I just don't know if he had more of them to sell. So would I have been plus one or am I like net zero? I thought he had all these. That's so stupid. But whatever. It's my fault. It's all on me. It's fine. You know what? It's good. Whatever. I'm net zero right now. So it's like nothing happened. So, like, the sweat off my brow right now, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm like, yo, happy birthday. Look at all these cool badges. <laughs> Timing tutors. Hammer man, no thanks. Uh, I want jump man, though. Um, okay, so the sweat on my brow, I'm okay. I'm fine. I was able to get another one. We net zeroed. And now I just have to... Um, I have to go to Hooktail's castle. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, just these menus. Like, I was not paying attention to, me attention to menus. I'm, like, looking at your comments. I'm, like, chilling with you guys. And then... Just... Overlook. Oversight. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, 25? <laughs> wow. 25 coins for the badge that I want the most? This is the best. I love this. Happy birthday to me, right? Um, but anyway, I gotta go to this Petalberg place. Oh, no. Don't touch me. What is that? What is he holding? Do I get that badge? What was that? Was that a power plus? Hold on. What's the what's the badge with the fist on it? Oh gosh. You better drop it. Oh no! What? Hold on. Uh, what was that? So, okay, so there's a chance maybe that they drop it. Oh my gosh. It looks like a badge. I think I'm gonna steal it with Maus.
Oh, why did you throw that on me? Mega Rush. Perfect. How did you miss that? I thought that was a perfect because she just she just up and missed it. Excuse me. Try again. Not <laughs> nice try. All right, here we go. Uh huh. Kiss him. Yoink. Oh, because I didn't get a perfect. It was Mega Rush. All right, all right. Mega Rush is not what I want, but I'll take it. Mega Rush. Oh my gosh! Imagine. Who imagine Mari Mar baby with mega two mega rush badges? Let's go. All right, all right, Ms. Mouse, you are uh, you are something, not something I want right now though. Uh, okay, that was not nice. It was rude. Very rude. Nice try, though. Nice try, though, my guy. Get out of here. I need Flower Saver in my life. Yo, flex on him by backflipping. Alright. Power Punch. Cool. Nice. Um, yeah, I guess I'm not gonna simply walk away from this guy. Magic hurts, though. If I can't block this, it's over. Hello? Two damage! How do I not have a Magic Hoopa? Magic Hoopa, you know a Koopa Wizard. HP 7. Oh my lord, help me. What a creep. And then there's only one of them. He splits into multiple copies to mess with us. Yeah, stop him fast or it's a world of hurt. 612, you're done. You gonna hit me? Get over here. I'd like to see you try. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's so scary. 3-6. Easy. Where are we off to now, Ivory? I'm doing a lot of prep work right now. We're exploring the caves before the new chapter. Since we knew we do have a new power available, which is the bomb. And we do have the, the boat available too. So I'm just doing a little bit of exploration in these uh, sewers. I kind of want to go back to the Koopa area. Or like the Pleasant Prairie, whatever it was called. Uh, in order to go back to Hooktail. So that's one of the things that I want to do right now. But again, like I, I don't really know the layout of the of the area here, and there's no fast way to, of getting up there. So I got a paper plane across. Um, yeah, I really have to memorize this. I could paper plane across, but I'm just gonna go back up. We're fine. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of prep work before jumping into the actual chapter. If I want to set myself up for success, this is what I have to do. So thanks for your patience and thanks for uh, enjoying the content. So anyway, here we go. So I do want to do this. Like I want to find out what's up with this. He says something about a, a stairway that flipped reverse, an empty black treasure chest. Where's the shop? Well, is a shop over here? Yeah, I need to actually go to the shop, and I need to buy some things. I need to buy some super shrooms. A regular shroom? Oh, this is garbage. Garbage shop. Alright, here we go. I need to sell some things. I need to sell all my badges. Just sell them all. Slow shroom is hot garbage. I thought it was going to be good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to store it. I don't need the coins. I'm going to store it in case I wanted to use a slow shroom for a recipe. Gradual syrup is trash, too. Curd shell's good. Uh, I don't need the in, and I don't need the whack a bomb. All right, give me this for how, f how much? Four coins? Yo, that's a rip off. Nah. So what I need to do is I need to find out uh, for one who sells the super shrooms because that'll be pretty much the way that I allow my partners to heal up. It's just with super shrooms. It's 10 HP. Their HP is either 15 HP or 20 HP right now. So. That's going to be way more than enough to help them out. I don't need to deal with any Goombas either. 
So let's go back to Hooktail Castle, and let's see if we can solve this riddle of a secret that I am completely clueless to. So that's kind of what I'm really excited for right now. Just seeing what's going on. And that's like, we're playing this game. Like, I, I really don't want spoilers because this is kind of like me reenacting playing this game when it first came out. When the internet was in its infancy stages and there really wasn't Reddit or there wasn't, um, you know, game FAQs or stuff like that. Or a live comment section that'll tell you everything you need to know because all of you guys are expert at this game. Like, no, there wasn't anything like that. So this is like me kind of feeling like that again. And that's kind of like one way to play it. Oh my gosh. Um, so remember earlier when we had Mrs. Maus out here trying to get these badges? Maybe these paratroopers can do some work for me. I'll do one. Oh, you got a mushroom? I'll take the mushroom. I don't think I can though. Uh, yeah, no, it's not worth it. Whatever. Five damage is a one-hit KO. There's no way I can do it. Uh, I can't do Love Slap. I can't do anything. So we're just gonna defend. Yeah. I mean, if that thing had a badge, I would have to be really careful to see how I'd, oh, how I'd get the badge. Because these Paracoopas are the ones that I need. in order to get me another Power Rush badge. They're not giving me any real experience, too. It's not even worth milking right now. No. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyone, if you guys want to uh, take a look around with me, there's some sort of area that has a reversible stairway. Do any of you guys remember the quote of what he said? I should have honestly, like, screen capped it. Something about an empty black treasure chest where you got an ability in Hooktail's castle. I don't remember getting an ability in Hooktail's though. Am I like completely in the wrong spot, I feel? Interesting. Yeah, I do remember when we had to print things out. Yeah, I remember going to the library and printing out things. <laughs> going to the library and using their, uh, their printers and such. Oh yeah, we did. I'm sorry, we did. We did learn to go paper thin. We learned to go paper thin in this one. We learned how to go paper thin. And then we went out of the jail cell bars. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Let's go. Okay, what did Merlin Merlin say though? He said something about this. Okay, does anyone want to go back into the stream and like type out what he said? Because I'm not remembering it at all right now. All right, let's do this. So something about the empty chest, right? Maybe I bring Flurry over here, do a little bit of blowy blowy. A little gusty gusty. Admiral Bomery? Okay. I don't want the answers. Please do not give me the answers. I just wanna, I want the hint as to what he said. Oh my gosh, don't tell me this was it. Okay, maybe? I don't remember there being a crack in the wall. Did we find it? Was that it? Up arrow. That could have been it. I don't know. An up arrow? You're not sure what it is, but you can ask someone. Maybe I bring this up arrow back, and then it's like, oh, now you can level up. Like, I don't know. 
All right, so we found the thing that he was talking about. Doing a little bit of backtracking along the way. Um, I hope, I hope that that's all we needed because I don't want to go all the way back for nothing. Okay, say hi, Lobby. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, something about a reversible stare and then something else about my partner's learning more on the side of a black chest there? What? I think I got the thing. So let's just move out of here. <laughs> something about... And you put that in quotes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that he said something about, but, um, anyway. That better be for experience. Come on, man. What's up, everyone? Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming. Hello. Hello. Hello! Something about. Whee! Don't touch me. I really and truly hope that that's what we needed. Oh yeah, nice. Didn't have to go down below. Beautiful. Okay, so now we gotta surface up. We gotta go to Merlin's area and then see exactly what that is. And we should be set. This pipe? I should know where this pipe leads by now. I've done it at least three times. Oh yeah! And this area! This area has a little boat section, right? Ah, oh, let's explore it since we're here. Might as well. This is the boat section I was thinking about. Um, kind of makes me want to go look at- Oh, there's a little ship there. Oh, so cool. But how am I going to jump over there? Mario has a long jump? I don't think I can. What? No, he can't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it's a false wall. And I gotta go around, right? Oh, what? That's not a false wall. Excuse me. Oh, man. Okay, so it's there's something more than meets the eye over here. Okay, I'm gonna explore that a little bit later. I just really want to do the thing that I was meant to do right now. Because obviously you have to go into the the pipe and then go into the background and then there's someone's ship. So that's gonna be interesting. Let's get up. Let's get up and see what's up. Okay, I hope that- I hope we did this right. The up arrow, here you go. What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course. This is the Ultra Stone, yes! Oh my gosh, that's so good, so good. Picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. So was this the same stone in the previous Mario game, Paper Mario game? He just had it and he left it in the attic? We're cooking now, let me know what you want me to power your allies up more. Yeah, I do. Guess what? My daughter! Let's go! Alright, who else should we power up, guys? Who else is good? I like Koops a lot. I do like Koops. I think he's worth it. I don't like Admiral Bobbery at all. Sorry. I think his time bomb thing is such a nerf compared to Bombette. Some of you guys like him a lot. Maybe he gets better in level 2. But I'm not all... I'm not made of shine sprites here, guys. And I'm not gonna go hunt them all down to get all my characters uh, leveled up, so... Uh, and your man... Can you stampede to attack all ground enemies? That's cool. Vivian? Confusion? No. Bobbery? 
Hold fast to damage direct attackers, Miss Maus. You can use Smooch to boost Mario's HP. I mean, I don't really need HP, so that's kind of wasted. Coops, though. Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Um, Vivian seems interesting, but I don't like her status effects. Like, I don't care about confusion. Because you don't know if it's going to work on a certain enemy or not. And I'm never going to use that. Uh, Enderman is good. I don't know. Coops is, like, really good, though. Like, I like Coops. We're going to go with Coops. Absolutely, um, only one person said Coops. So, we're going to do that. And see, this is why you don't spend all of your shine sprites on every open available spot. Like, me skipping out on Flurry allows me to power up this guy. Right? Some of you guys are like, oh man, you should go ahead and give Flurry some love. I said, no, man, I already bounced on her a couple times in that one episode. No, she's done. Alright, this is great. So now we got Coops. Um, what was I doing now? Okay, I got a couple things that I have to do. So let's do this. Uh, we're gonna go do some, um, some quests now. Yo, where's Frankie's, uh, Frankie's thing, huh? Uh, maybe I have to do this. It's try to find me. Koopa Kook. Try to find me. Let's do this one. Do Frankie's Trouble. Frankie's Trouble. Hmm. Maybe I have to do all of these in a row, looking for a gal. Is ST, Mayor? Okay, so let's do this one. It's gonna be try to find me, Koopa Kook. Uh, wondering hide and seek champion. Uh, I'm hiding somewhere in Hooktail Castle. Come on! If you find me, I'll give you something good. Think you do it, really? Ugh, I do want to take that on. And I want to do help my daddy. Where's help my daddy? Can I do more than one at a time? I can't? Okay, that's stupid. Alright, I'm gonna ask you guys right now, if you know the answer for this one, please tell me, because I'm not about to waste any more time going back to Hooktail Castle when I could have done two birds with one stone! <sighs> Try to find me, man. Uh-huh, uh-huh. After conquering the castle, you can try to find him. Uh, the Stand on the walkway right outside the door to the storage room where you mit mess Mrs. Mouse. Drop off to land on the ledge where Koopa Kook is hiding. Talk to him and get the special card. Alright, that's what I need. Yep, there we go. Got the answer. Alright, I need to fly away home. Alright, where is the fast way to travel to there? Is it here? No, it's not here. Do I know if my spell is still here? Oh, there's a bomb spot too. How do I get over there? I need to figure that out now. Flurry does not need any love. It's true. She's okay. We're, she's fine. She got a lot of love in her... What's this? How do I get up there? What is, what is actually happening right now? That doesn't equate. Like, okay, so there's a bomb spot there? Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't want to figure it out right now. There's too many things on my plate, so let's just, uh, let's just go back where we need to go. Not available till after Chapter 6. Okay, not a big deal. Oh, man, that's kind of lame, though. Kind of lame, though, but it's all good. So what we need to do is... I could have sworn it was available in... Chapter 5, at least somewhere where I read online, but, you know, the internet. Yo, that power rush, so that selling of the power rush, man, <laughs> so silly. I'm still reeling on that, man. It's okay, because right now, we're going to be set up. We're gonna get some good stuff. I guarantee it, we're gonna get some good stuff. By finishing off Try to Find Me. We're gonna do Try to Find Me, Help My Daddy. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, you Goomba boy. Wait, did I, did I miss it?
Okay, that's where I have to go. Okay, Hooktail Castle. The last time I'm going in here. Something about an area where Miss Mouse was, which I have honestly no idea. Uh, you try to return him. Stand on the walkway right outside the door to the storage room where you met Ms. Mouse. Yeah, right. I'm falling. Okay, I did not fall. On a walkway where you met Miss Mouse. Okay, someone go to, like, the Chapter 1 live stream. <laughs> Just kidding. This is not the walkway where I met Miss Mouse. You better have my badge. You had the badge? <laughs> no! You had it! You straight had it! Oh my gosh! It's so hard to see! I'm I'm reeling right now! No! 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 Was that a 1 in 300 chance? <laughs> no! <laughs> Somebody save me! I'm making so many misplays because I'm not paying attention. I don't think it was a mushroom, dude. No, no, the paratroopa. You go take a look at that. Take a look at the footage. Rewind the footage, man. That had to have been it. Sorry, man. GG's. Okay, you know what? Maybe it'll feel better. It'll make me feel better if it was just the mushroom. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's it. It was just the mushroom. Don't worry about it. That's you believable, man. All right, I'm going to keep Miss Miles over here just in case. All right, get me up here. What did I do here? Oh, yeah. Maybe this is where I did this stupid stuff. I don't want to play these puzzles anymore. Don't worry. Let's just all say it was a mushroom. This isn't it. Why did I do that? It was a mushroom. There we go. The thing is though, I can't take another hit. I can't take another hit. What's up, Bobberito? Yo, Bobberito, that's a cool name. Love it, man. Storage room, Mrs. Mao's. Six coins for a free heal? Seems very tempting. Oh, it's this. This has to be the storage room. Yeah, we saw Miss Miles over here. Right? No? Not the storage room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was a badge on the first one. I know there was. I know there was. I'm just in denial right now. That's a cool badge. I don't want to get spiked though. If I take one hit of spike, I'm done. I don't know what the heck that is. This mouse is really good. Thank you, but no thanks. Close call P. I mean, it's worth money. If anything, I could sell these badges for that big money. Okay, this is the storage room. Okay, so this is the storage room. We got it. It says, uh... The walkway right outside the door where you met Miss Mouse. Stand on the walkway and drop off to land on a ledge where Koopa Koopook is hiding. Here? Oh, dude, what? 
Blast. So you found me, Curses. I'm sure I felt no one would ever find me here. I'm a master, you see. I love sneaking and hiding so much, I'll never stop. It was just, uh, it was a hobby. Okay, I don't care. Koopook! I thought it was you. We used to be neighbors back when we barely, uh, shell high. Koops, is that you? Yeah, Koops, the same Koops. Alright, got it, got it. Hide and seek. Okay, okay, got it. Uh-huh, yep. Okay, so we got the special card. This is what I was looking for. So, good job. See you, buddy. You solved the trouble. Yay! Me too. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. I wish there was like a fast travel way of getting out of here, but it doesn't seem that way. Okay, so we found Koopa Kook. We got the special card. Now, the special card allows us to play a plain minigame inside the Pianta Parlor. The Pianta Parlor is going to be where we're going to be able to get a lot of coins. And then, if we get a lot of coins in the game, we can then buy a lot of badges. And play some paper plane stuff. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait for you. Thank you. Dizzy Dial? Come on, man! You kidding me? Dizzy Dial and a pow. I don't need this trash. Try again. So if I really wanted to seek out my Power Rush badge, I would just continuously go in and out of this level and try to try to replicate that. Try to replicate getting uh, one of those paratroopas in. Let me try one more. Hopefully there's a paratroopa. If not, whatever. I'm out. He does not have a badge. Wow, that badge was so hidden on him. Oh man, I'm kicking myself for that one. Another Courage Shell, that's nice. Uh, I can use them. Okay, so here we go. Let's get out of here. Let's continue on with the show. So I can't do Frankie's Trouble, but I can do... Um, I can do Help Me Daddy. <laughs> that did not age well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, anyway. So, I guess another question is, I have to find out where Spike Shield Badge is, too. So let me go look around. It's gotta be in the sewer somewhere. Okay, anyway. Where in the world is my Spike Shield Badge at? Lovely. Where are you, Merlovely? Merlovely is... Okay. Okay, let's take a look. Merlovely. This is Merlovely's, right? Huh. Like, what was the point of this area here? I have to actually look around a little bit more. This is a shop, right? Oh, oh, you got some stuff here, don't you? Jam and jellies? Where am I gonna buy? I don't need a power block. And then I was gonna say, where am I going to buy a life shroom? I have to find that out really quick. So I don't need two courage shells. All right, cool. We're moving. Ultra shroom is really expensive. And the, the gradual shroom and a syrup? No, thanks. These guys? This guy doesn't tell me anything, right? No, I don't need these fools. What's in here? Doesn't seem to open. There's gotta be more bomb spots in here. <clears throat> oh gosh. Easy. And then we're gonna hammer him, and then we win. Ooh. 
Great. I just spiked myself and now I'm in peril. Did I just lose? Did I just lose right now? Did I just lose? Oh my gosh! Help me! Help me! Help me! Okay, good. You take all the hits, guy. I love, I love this mist. I love the mist so much. I should have ran. I should have ran. Thank you, my goodness. Hmm. <clears throat> Where did I get the health from? Did I not explore this fully area? Like, it's so blending into me right now. Magic Koopas? That's fine. That's a lot of experience, by the way. These Magic Koopas are really killer. Don't touch me. <laughs> oh, this guy. This guy, though, man. Oh, you got- Oh, I kind of want to steal that. Because I need one in my inventory. But he's already dead, so GG's. Oh my gosh, nice try. Dang, dude, I just gotta keep on beating these guys up and I can get another level up really quick. Can't do anything with that. Oh, man. Bars going deeper and deeper down. Just messing around inside the sewers right here. I don't really know what we're gonna find. The spike shield is somewhere in the sewers. And I should have access to it right now, but I haven't honestly seen it. And maybe I haven't been looking hard enough. Yeah. I'll find it. A little baby Goomba. Gone. Does not give me experience. Okay, that's fine. Magic Koopa will. I'll take him. And we'll go from here. Great. That's gonna hurt. Wow, what are you throwing? A heart? I'll take a heart. Thank you. Toss it this way. Oh, that's not good. Oh yeah, that's also not good. Whoops, sorry. Did I just die? <laughs> Did I just die because he used a shooting star? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so risky, man. Did I just die? My life flashed before my eyes there. Is there not anything else I need to do? 
These are just the warps to the different places. I can't get up here because I don't have the super hammer. So I'll come back to that, and then I'll access more warps for more places. Oh gosh, don't touch me. Nice! Look at that! Off of the block? What a guy! I don't want to play with mist. Why does the mist come? Someone. <laughs> it's terrible, man. I really just need the FP. Yoshi doesn't need any. And I'll take the Mario health. Okay, that's good enough. Six is good. And then if you want to jump on this guy, you can feel free to do so, big boy. Just pounding on him. Alright. Good experience. 86. Almost that one more. Level up. And then we're going to get out of here. Hammer time. Yeah, we're going to go get hammer time over here. I'm honestly not seeing anything. I think I could bounce on him and destroy him. 510? Oh, easy. And he's got a little Goomba friend here? Alright, that's kind of cool. Goomba friend's not going to give me any damage or any experience. Good job, Angerman. I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> Mario just stood there and took it. No. Okay, so I kind of explored the entire area. It's all still a giant maze to me, but... Yeah, I'm not seeing anything that I need to do over here. The miss comes because uh, the game is auto and it's dramatic tension for the audience. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine it's very tension. I can't jump inside there. You are who again? Um, you are who again? Member elements. Merly. Okay, so that's Merly and the fortune teller. Um, can you guys remind me where Mer Lovely is? Where is Mer Lovely inside the pipes? That's what I want to find right now. Because I could have sworn I've done, like, I've explored every avenue of this place. We've seen Mer Lovely. She is, uh, which one is Mer Lovely? Mer Lovely is the one that teaches you. What? This one's more lovely, right? This is you. Yeah, you're the one that tells you where to go next, right? Tell me your name! <laughs> What's your actual name? I don't know, man. Whew! Anyway, more lovely. Nothing. I'm not I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, I need to actually look up where this spike shield is. <laughs> because it's it's actually bothering me right now. Okay. I'm gonna look this up real quick. Spike shield. I have to find this because I'm not. I'm not gonna do this next battle or this next chapter without it. Especially if I'm playing with like 5 HP over here. I need to figure it out. So if any of you wanna tell me, let me know. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Vivian, Vivian. 
Go into the hallway that has a pipe that leads to a room that takes you to the thousand year door. Pipe that leads you to the thousand year door. Same hallway that leads to a giant yellow block and two pipes. The pipe that leads you to the thousand year door. That's a little bit further down. Let's see what's up. It has to be here, right? Probably not, but there's a magic Koopa or a hammer bro. You know, I need to level up. We're gonna go Okay, here we go. Uh, super shroom kind of want to steal it So I'm going to I need that in my inventory. It's gonna come in handy So let's steal this thing. All right, here we go switch Ms. Mouse Block that Yoink! Thank you. I was gonna go buy one, so this is perfect. Oh, thank you. Another level up. Guys, we need some HP, right? I don't know how my HP got to 5, but we gotta get it back up to 10, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, is it is the joke getting old now? Like, do you guys finally understand? Can I <laughs> can I keep on using the joke? Kind of want to steal that for money. Should have though. Okay, so I got three badge points. I don't really have a need for it right now. Like, honestly, I don't right now because I don't have the uh, good badges to put on. Like, I'll put on Mega Rush, which is great. I'll put on another Power Jump. Heck yeah. Uh, and then I'll put on a... Um, what? What's good? FP Drain looks really good. FP Drain is powerful. You know what? I'm gonna put it on. I was talking about putting it on for a while now. Okay, big yellow block. Hold on, hold on. It says, okay. Um, there are two sets of steel bars. Okay, so I'm not seeing that. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Go to the hallway. Two blocks and a room behind bars. No, I don't get it. Is it this? Did I just not go here? Oh, you're kidding me! This is the part that I just missed the entire time. It was right here. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, okay, That's, I got a little greedy. This is it. Now I need the badge points. I was just saying I don't I don't need the badge points, but now I do. How many times did I walk past that? Annoying. Okay, that's the badge. Out. Oh, it's three. Okay, great. <laughs> get rid of Mega Rush. Uh, get rid of Power Jump. And get rid of my other one that I just randomly put on. FP Drain. Dude, that was so short-lived, it's not even funny. Although I don't think I need ice power. But who knows, maybe I'll, I might come across a specific enemy that I need that for. So let's give that a shot. Alright, pop me so I can go back. Fast travel. Oh, it doesn't fast travel me to the beginning. Interesting. Dang. Wasted an HP. Great. I thought it would fast travel me to the entrance. Wow, was I mistaken. Okay, so we got the item that I was actually looking for. Okay, and we've kind of fully explored the entire area. So this is good. Now let's get out of here. That's the badge I wanted. So, um, other than that, we now have to go to Pianta. Yo, we're at two hours in this, and I haven't even started the chapter. We're gonna be here for a long time today, guys. And don't worry, it's preparation. It's preparation. Okay, got the badge.
Okay, what else? Let's go... Goombella. Was that a little roach? What was that? Weird. Okay. What else do we need to do? Oh yeah, we were gonna go to uh, the parlor. We were gonna go to the parlor and play the paper paint paper plane game for a quick second. Just to see what was going on. And uh, let's see if there's anything over here in the uh, the little shop. The little bad shop. You gotta always check the wares. You never know. I might be able to purchase another power rush. It has the D on it. Dang it. Power rush P. I don't need that. Okay, I'm not going to sell. I'm buying others. Do you not have it? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine. Close call is good, but like, there's a lot of really good ones. But not the ones I want right now. So thank you, you little bad shop. But uh, we are going to pass on that one. Let's move on. Okay, so let's go to Pianta Parlor. Let's see what's going on in the world of paper planes. Hello, Toddette. Oh yeah, you. I got this card now. Wait, don't I have the card? Okay, here we go. I'll prepare the mini game. You can play with that members card. How exciting! You can now play the plane game. Okay, let's try. Let's try it. It'll cost you ten piantas. I don't have any. Okay, so I gotta go buy some. It'll cost ten piantas. 30 coins to play this? Are you kidding me? I don't know how Okay, fine. I'm gonna try it once. 10 piantas to do this? Alright. Playing game. What are the rules? The playing game. Uh, in this game, you turn into a paper airplane and complete and compete to see how far you can fly. The farther you fly, the more piantas you win. And if you land on one of the moving platforms, you get a bonus. And if you land on the penalty platform, you, use, you lose piantas, so be careful when landing. The best way to boost your winnings is to collect a lot of piantas while flying. Good luck. Okay. Let's try it. I'll try it. I should have saved beforehand. <laughs> I should have saved scummed it. Like, in case I don't do well, just kind of reset the game. I will be okay. Oh, interesting. Wow, look at this. Plane game. A times two? Well, as long as I get my earnings back. Oh, let me land on that times two. 320? Come on. How much do I get? Only a net value of two? Get out of here. One more try. Give me that times two, he says. Let's try again. This is kind of cool, but like, if I'm only earning two on average, because the ones I get in midair... Give me that no no <laughs> no I'm broke I'm broke that's what I get for gambling That's what I get for gambling Dang dude see there you go ladies and gents never gamble I wasted 30 coins You know how hard it is for me to get 30 coins in the game Anyway, so we gotta go talk to Don Pianta. So, uh, yeah, we got Chet. We got the Spike Shield. Um, I kind of want to do a little bit of Flower Saver. I kind of want to get some Flower Saver here. I'll, I'll be okay for now. I'll be okay for now. Okay, let's just go find, um, what's his name? Don Pianta. And let's continue the chapter. Alright, alright. That's kind of enough prep work. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, let's go see over here. You guys have super shrooms? You got life shrooms, right? Uh, I will take one. Just in case. And then I'm gonna take a su- A super's for 20? No, I'd rather steal one. Get out of here. Too rich for my blood. And I wasted 30 coins! Okay, so how do I get up top? I don't remember the Pianta area. Like, didn't I have to go up here? In the parlor, and then wasn't there an upstairs or something? Oh, it's in the shop. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's in the shop. There was an upstairs in the shop.
Oh, dang, I'll take that, though. Dried shroom. I may have to look into cooking soon. Or at least getting hot dogs. <laughs> Taking a trip to get some hot dogs. Yo, oh, what happened? Oh, no, the Don, he's sick. Francesca. Aw, oh, poor boss. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter skedaddled. Our underboss, Frankie, is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's a syndicate to do? That scruffy gang of punk thieves is stealing jobs from us right and left. Hey, but enough about us and their stupid problems, huh? What can we do for yous? Uh, tickets for the r ritziest train around for the Excess Express? Whoa, you want tickets for that rolling wing ding? Oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. <laughs> Yeah, us giving out tickets, that's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca! I just can't s stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see him. Hang on. Those two fondly folk, Frankie and Francesca, from Keel Hall Key. Yeah. Who's on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss Pianta is at? Really? No lie. I swear to you, if you're lying, I'll turn you into confetti. So help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, go bring us young Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get your train tickets. Got a deal or what? Deal! See, that's better. I knew once you understood our predicament, you couldn't refuse, so don't screw this up. Alright. Well, we're going back to Keel Hall Key. I think we're going to have to go to the, uh, the little uh, the dock in order to do that. Okay, go into the dock. Do we have any items that we need to sell? I don't think so. We're good. Yeah, I really need to get some more hot dogs. We haven't seen Luigi either. Like, we haven't come across him, and I'm kind of sad. I miss keeping up with his super Luigi tail. You got anything good? A w emblem and a stopwatch? No thanks. All right, let's save really quick. Okay, let's go. Let's save twice. Just in case you didn't think it worked. Yeah, let's go to Keel Hall Key. Let's go, amigos. Hey, there he is. All right, next time we're back, we're gonna go talk to Luigi and his crazy Daisy. Oh man, I can't wait to see what he does. Oh my gosh. Predictions in the comments. What do you think he did to upset that green crazy Daisy? Uh, yeah, I don't know where these guys went. Maybe they're just, like, lounging around? Oh, how much do you sell Super Shroom for? Twelve? Yeah, that's a deal. Thanks, and this is honey? I don't like honey. Alright, Piantas, where are you? Have you seen them? Oh, they're in the jungle looking for something, I think. Alright, you guys are looking for something. How much HP do I have? Do I need to spend? Uh, oh yeah, I got a lot of flower points. We're good. If anyone tries to attack me, I could just power quake them and we'd be done with it in a second. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey! Oh, hey, it's Mario. How you been there, pal? What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, no. And at a time like this... You see, I just dropped the wedding ring Frankie gave me around here, and I can't possibly leave until I find that ring. Otherwise, someone may eat it, or something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Come on! <laughs> Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. Shouldn't we forget about that ring and check on the boss? How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. We have to find it. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're going to have to say you love me a hundred times. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. 
Oh, come on now, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say it 99 more times, Frankie. Aw, fine, you crazy dame. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh my gosh, am I gonna be here all day? Okay, this is actually disgusting. I hate you, Francesca. You are actually the worst person I've ever seen in my life. If anyone acts like this in the world, you need to stop. I'm surprised Mario isn't falling asleep. What is this? Oh, there, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. He he he. Now my little cream puff, let's find that ring and... What? Wow, you think these guys are gonna be alright looking for that ring on their own? Listen, Mari, we better play itself and help them. That is the worst. Francesca, you are so bad. I wish that you got sick. Come here. You wanna play this game? Let's go. I'll play Quake Hammer all day. Oh gosh! Oh wait, no, we're fine. Are these guys giving me any experience for doing this? One? Wasted. Wait a second. Uh, may I help you? These guys don't die to a single quake. Oh my gosh. What a punk. Couple goals? Absolutely not. <laughs> I hope you're joking about that. That's <laughs> really disgusting. I'm not gonna do anything unless you tell me you love me a hundred times and I'm gonna count them. Like, what is your actual problem, lady? Get owned. Take a hike, right? All right, here we go. Eight damage. I don't think I could do eight damage. Shell slam, strike all ground enemies piercing their defenses. We'll just power shell and then quake hammer. Seven is nice. That's good damage, kiddo. I'll just normal hammer, I don't need to spend it. Okay, good. <laughs> It sounds like he married a child. Call 911. Oh my gosh, so mean. You guys are mean to Francesca, the best NPC in the game. How dare you? I can't believe you guys right now. How could you how could you be so mean and heartless to Francesca? She's just in love. Have you guys not experienced that before? This one's gonna, oh my gosh, it's gonna come down. Yo, nice. Yo, power shell's very powerful. But these guys aren't even worth fighting. Like, they're, I'm only getting one experience for them. So yeah, we're gonna stop. It's gonna be in one of these little bushes somewhere, I have a feeling. That's my hypothesis. You know, that's what I wanted to happen because now I'm in uh, power rush mode, so bring it on. Although if I fall in the water one more time, I'm gonna lose the stage hazards. And I can't allow that to happen for sure. Oh, there it is, ha ha. Yoink. It was, was it that easy? And yet I continue to check bushes. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> oh man, so funny, so funny, these fools. Francesca is the actual worst. Frankie? Gotta leave her, man. Here you go, enjoy your ring. Ah, that's it. That's my ring. You found it. I did find it. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. 
We sure can, my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well, so anyway, oh, we'll be down at the dock. Hurry back, please. You're the worst. Who's a more worse NPC than Francesca? Go ahead, I dare you. I'm gonna buy a couple more shrooms while I'm here because they're pretty cheap. Maybe one more is fine. That's good. Okay, down by the docks. Let's do it. Lackey Lester? Lackey Lester? No, I mean, he's okay. He's not an NPC. You play as him, right? He's part of your team. What about Lackey Lulu? No, Lackey Lulu is kind of cool. I think uh, we're ready, pal. Yeah, let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, Daddy, please hang until we get there. What if he doesn't, though? Flurry is worse than... No, Flurry's okay. I don't know. She's got her... She's got her... Her good points, doesn't she? Flurry. The ability to hit ceiling hanging enemies, right? That's what she does. That's probably what she's only good for. Koopy Koo? Oh, Koopy Koo's alright. Alright, we get to listen to Luigi now. Even though Don Pianta's dying, we're gonna go listen to Luigi's story. We have to see Daddy immediately. You got it, Francesca. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to Luigi. Because he's number one. So, Luigi, you got a crazy daisy over here, huh? Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jazafraz Town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art. Uh, an art form on that little quest. Oh, it's pretty nutty, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. All right, let's go. Jazafraz Town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jazafraz Town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live in there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said that the so-called Drama Llama plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. The script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. <laughs> Just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama, uh, drama slam. But I got the compass part uh, I was after, but even that I... Uh, even that it didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans. My fans. Fans of grass. They swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it. Imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass which pointed north. Pointed to the rap rapturous ruins in the Grimble Forest. And then the voice again. Oh my cherished princess Eclair, how you soothe me. I would be grass for you. I will find you, I will reach you, I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so yeah, then I got my back on back on my boat, came back here to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. That's cool, grass boy. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> well, see, that's nice. He's not, like, after him for something that Luigi did so terribly. So I guess that's cool. All right, Pianta, let's go. You got anything? I'm good, thank you. I really have to go farm those amazing daisies, man. But once I'm stronger, once I'm stronger, I will absolutely destroy those things. I think maybe on the next chapter, once we finally get Frankie's Trouble, once we fi finally get Frankie's Trouble, I will then go farming those crazy daisies just to prepare myself for the final battle. Daddy, Daddy, wake up, open your eyes. Boss! Mm hmm. All right, Pianta. 
Francesca? Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francesca, you came back for me. And you too, Frankie! Of course we did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped everything and rushed back. Oh yeah, you dropped everything? Yeah, sure. Francesca, Frankie, I was wrong. I was stubborn, old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man now. I need peace. I guess the time has come for me to stop being so selfish, causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Pianta, the Don of untimely death, can't escape old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, boss, no. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be my successor, Frankie. What do you say, Frankie? As of today, you are the head of the Pianta Syndicate. What? But boss, you still got it in you. You're a spring chicken. You don't gotta do this. And I mean me, boss. No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a good feeling about you. A good one. I, wanted to, I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest of the Syndicate the way I did. Boss. You, Mario. It looks like you... Uh, you've done yet another favor for me, kid. Yeah, uh, about that, boss. Oh, this is gonna be just beautiful, I know it. What did you guys do? Well, uh, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if he brought your daughter. Whoa, ho, ho, is that all? You had me worried for a second. Come on over here, Mario. How many you want? One, two, ten? Help yourself. That's good. Oh, uh, yow. Okay, uh, you come back anytime you like. How about that? Well, now that I've retired, I'm going to get out of here. Daddy. Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You the boss. Hey, yo, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie, we've got lots of work to do, and don't worry. I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet name nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Oh, dang, huh? F Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Underboss? Uh, I mean, boss, you got our loyalty. We'll be by your side whenever you need us, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. You're welcome here. You're a, you're like a brother to me. You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Yeah, I need to get away from these people as fast as possible. These guys are the worst. No, thank you. Alright, let's get on this express. Yeah, yeah, we can go to Poshley Heights. That's right, I'm coming. Mui hee hee, I heard that, my uglies. Who's this? Junior Troopa? My uglies? So the six crystal stars in Poshley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Whoa, no, not you. Hey, you're that Beldum. Normally this would be where I finally deal with you and that homely traitor, Vivian. But something tells me that trying that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Poshley Heights and get that crystal star before you do. Mwee hee hee. Oh, no, not Long Nose. Whoa, that sounded bad. We gotta get to Poshley Heights before that witch. All right, let's go. We... Your uglies, no, my uglies. Oh, another email, sweet. Totally not gonna check it. I kinda wanna go buy some hot dogs, though. Yeah, you know what? I'm going. I'm going, man. I gotta buy some hot dogs. It's like, it's the best meal. <laughs> For me, it's the best meal because it's cheap and it recovers a little bit of FP too. So if I need like some health, I'm just gonna eat a hot dog. An all beef hot dogs, mind you. All right, I'm gonna go buy some hot dogs and then we're out of here, I promise. I just gotta be prepared. How do I get that? Uh, I need like a jump or something. These rock formations, though. <laughs> Ten coins is a deal. What are my items looking like? Two hot dogs, two super shrooms, a little honey syrup. Alright, this looks great. 
Yeah, let's go. I'm out of here. Although, I gotta get rid of one thing. I don't think I need the courage shells. How much are you selling this stuff for? 15? Ah, oh, 15's good. Alright, I need to sell the courage shell really quick. I don't need two of them. Or, I don't need... Yeah, I don't need a courage shell. We're okay. And with that, I kind of want a honey, but I don't I don't necessarily need honey if I could just have a hot dog. Right? Yo, hot dog, man. That's five and five. Your inventory is full. Dang it. All right, all right, we're out of here. Let's go. Yo, we are made of hot dogs now. Yo, is it just me or is YouTube acting up? I got my ticket, let's go. All of all aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Remember that guy? He says all aboard because he's a bus driver. You know, he had to... Waluigi had to take lessons, or he had to take classes on how to drive that bus, dude. That's a double-decker bus. You don't just jump on it and drive it. You need a license for it. Okay, dang. Two hours in, and here we go. Chapter 6. Three days of excess. Mario's room. Oh yeah, the Excess Express. This is so deluxe, man. The, th the three days to Poshley Heights are gonna be over like that. Huh? Hey, you see that something on the floor? When did that get there? Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Whoa, what a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, could you? Whoever this psycho is, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this nut before anything bad goes down on this train. Oh my gosh. What is actually happening? Do I get free naps here because it's my bed? There's a dried shroom in the drawer. Uh, no thanks. Car number five. Hello there. Look at this cute little toad. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a dining car. It's where you eat. Some people take this train just so they can uh, eat our yummy, fabulous food. And this trip, we have a super famous actor on board, Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. I'm totally swooning, so I hope he comes here to eat soon. Zip Toad? Oh, look, as a chef. Hello, I'm Chef Shimi, <laughs> the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. Uh, I mean, acquaintance. Sorry, cheap cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Okay, well, look over here. I could buy some... St oh, I need this honey, but I don't have any room. It's a shop. Hi. Uh-huh, lots of souvenirs. Cool, cool, cool. All right, adios, see ya. That's great. So that's the wares. You got a boo sheet. You got a gift. All right, car number six. What's in car number six? It is a little penguin detective. I'm on my way back home. I've strayed uh, so long, I've forgotten what it looks like. Hold on, do we know him? There are several detective novels in here. Do we know him from the previous game? Looks familiar, right? Interesting. 
Ew, what in the world? Yuck. Checking your drawers though. There's nothing in here. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once I arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yeah. Oh, I know what that's like. What's up, Chrissy? Hey, thanks for the super chat. Oh, look at this bomb. And, oh, bomb family. And a star piece in the drawer. Sweet, hello. Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? The Great Gonzalez. How did you know? Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it certainly is fitting for a place, uh, a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We're en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday for a uh, present for little bub here. Ah, uh, my, my, my. Little bub. Yeah, I'm bub. And we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? I'm very jealous, yeah. I know all about birthdays and birthday presents. I had all you guys celebrating birthday with me. Thank you. Hello to you and welcome to the Excess Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And Mario, I trust you may be Mario from room number five. Make yourself at, her at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Okay. So, we're gonna go back to our room, and then, since we're in room 5, we didn't check out 4 through 1. Okay, hi. I'm dying for a taco, guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? What? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Okay, so they took his- they took the Cheap Cheap's pot. Okay, there's my room. Whoa, what is this? What is this trail, huh? You see this trail? All right, well, it leads somewhere. And now we have to play detective on a train, huh? Give me that. No one in room three. Look at you! Oh my gosh! Gourmet food magazines, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the cover. His smile is just blinding. Look at this big toddy. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train, and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. All right, well, there's a little trail leading to your room, guys, so you're very suspicious, Big Toad. I'm gonna keep on looking, though. There are giant mounds of cosmetics inside. Hello. Well, hello there, you ducky, debonair dish of a man. You, you you're you smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Hmm. Seems suspicious. Who done it, right? It's like a murder mystery over here. There are several postcards and glossies featuring Zip Toad. What's a glossy? Glossy? Some uh, some early 2000 term I don't know about. Okay, you can't open the door. And this is the caboose where you can save. Alright, let's save really quick. A glossy is another word for a photograph, is that right? Greetings! Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm what is uh, called a train engineer. Our opulent journey to Postal Heads will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? Our furnishings delight the eye, but sway the locomotive. Okay, okay, huzzah, huzzah. All right, well, I'm about to press this button, dude. This is the train's operation. There are many small switches and levers here. There's a note. On the second day, there will be a brief stop at Riverside Station for refueling, followed by the arrival of our final destination of Postal Heights on day three. Okay. So, let's go back to our room, and, um, I guess that's going to trigger the next part of this. So, who did it? Was it the big, uh, big tubby boy? Big toddy? Was it... I mean, that's pretty suspicious that there's some sort of trail leading to his room. Maybe he's... J maybe he just bought some food, and then... Would you like to rest in the bed? Yeah. Free healing? Oh my gosh, count me in. Doesn't cost 10 coins? Let's go. You recovered HP and FP. Okay, that's great and all, but... Did that... Does that make a day pass? I don't think that makes a day pass. Maybe it does, who knows. Okay, there's another trail over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, anyway. 
Hmm, yeah, so I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? The question uh, is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm, my dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery, one that impacts you all. What a mystery! Mystery, you just said. And, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? Hmm... I'm known as Pennington. You likely would not have guessed it, but I'm a detective. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Oh, okay. The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. Oh my gosh, what? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? Uh, I, I have, like, no idea about what you're talking about. Oh, uh, pardon me. Sorry. I accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is, and uh, I guess that's about it, right? Yeah, this scene is uh, for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Hmm, you there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I've just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad, the Zip Toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer. Geezer. I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well then, who did do it, hmm? Herumph. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well, uh, I don't know if I had to talk to these guys to trigger anything. Uh, my magnificent stew. The geezer is totally like way out of control. So lame. Ugh. You may whisk you, my whiskered friend. Uh, have you uh, have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect, highly suspect indeed. People, I've apprehended the rogue. Yes, I've broken the case wide open. He has been skulking about this area the whole time, under our very noses. The pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously bandit is you. You're not the bandit, you say? Hmm. Indeed, you would say that. Well. If you are not, in fact, the crook, then perhaps you can prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then we'll know who that it's not you, fair? All right. Whoa, footprints. A clue. There are traces of something in the carpeting. Hey, this totally looks like spilled stew. We'll follow the trail and get the thief. All right. So, yeah, Goomba's intuition. Like, we kind of knew that that was a thing. So, let's go find Big Toddy. Hey, stew boy. Whoa, 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 what do you want? <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen. You blame the chubby guy. Not nice. <laughs> what? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. There are several gourmet food magazines. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Got it, got it. Oh, there's something under the magazines. It's the galley pot! How could you? It's licked clean! Don't- I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. Got him. So you were so enamored with of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but I was a, it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. This terrible crime, may this terrible crime never reoccur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to collar the ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss it in private. Okay. Oh, and please return the pot to the chef if you could.
How dare you, you big Todd. Here's your pop back, guy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Here's just a little taste of my power. Uh, please take it. Uh-huh. Oh, thank you. That was easy. We're good. Ah, uh, I kind of want to go back to Toad Town. I have a feeling I have at least ten. Ten of these things, yeah? I have six. Never mind. I'm not going back to Toad Town. Oh, I'm going to go to room six, not five. Right? He said six? Yeah, let's go there. Wash it first. No, see, cheap, cheap. You don't have to wash it. It's licked clean. <laughs> so you don't have to wash it. It's already clean. There's no crumbs. All right, detective. Aha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think the one you apprehended is our sticky, yummy malcontent. I've deduced from... Uh, this, from the lack of any incriminating clues in his room. In any case, I must say, I believe you have a certain knack for detective work. So it's decided then, I shall take you on as my new assistant. To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Poshley Heights. I'm known in some circles as the penguin with the improbably large brain. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of me. So that is all I will say on the subject. And as for your name, wait, I demand you not tell me. I shall deduce your identity. That mustache. That nose. Ho oh, ho ho, all too easy. You, sir, are quite obviously the famed Luigi, are you not? No need to introduce yourself. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now about this threat, our main, uh, our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. A sticky, tasty explosion. That family of bob -ombs, they are definitely suspect. Now, Luigi, we'll reduce this case to rudimentary facts and deduce the truth. Take heed, Luigi. Our man has declared his intent to yummify the train. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, the family of bomb -oms. Okay, so we gotta go find the bomb -om family. Oh, it's a little darker now. That's interesting. Is this the bomb -om family in seven? Uh, you're the rat, dude. Rat is in seven. I should write this down. Here's the bomb -om family. Mom and dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I just brought my GBA. <laughs> wow. Bring your Nintendo Switch in the year 2020. I think I should get a little little Bob the Advanced Learner's Classic Series of Bob Bombery. Two words. Cheap and boring. Think more luxurious, dear. Perhaps a car or a house. Bob is too small for such things. Gold Bob? Stop thinking of your own social status. He needs something that will further his education, not spoil him, honestly. I don't want any of that stuff they're talking about. I just want video games. Hey, miss, are you a detective now that uh, you quit being a champion? Well, so, think you could detect what I really want for my birthday? Yeah, dude, I got you, kid. Really? Cool. Okay, if you bring me what I really want, uh, then I'll give you something in return. What? Classics. He wants something from the shop. Okay, then here's a hint. It starts with an A. Got it? Second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Oh! Now you've got it, don't you? So I gotta find... Uh, here's your second hint. So I gotta go find Zip Todd. I don't remember where Zip Todd's room was. Bombs in eight. No, you're in six. Sorry, I should know this. You can give me my autograph. I'll give him the autograph. I'll autograph it for you, kid. Zip Toddy. Yo, you know where he is. You totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. <laughs> can you help me? Yeah, sure. Really? Five stars. Oh, okay. I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're, like, full of memories, and I need them back. Could you find them? Please. Sure, whatever. If I happen to find them, I'll give them to you. I'm not honestly going to care about that right now. Five is my room. Four is... Where is Zip Dotty, man? What is actually happening here? Three is the gourmand. Two is this crazy lady. What am I, fetch quest over here? 
Looking for a gold ring? You lost a gold ring? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, so the little girl, the little waitress lost the pearl earrings. This lady lost... Oh, yeah, I need an autograph, kid. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, well, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph, yeah? Okay, I got you. Wait, 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 what? Hey, you don't think Bub might want something from someone he d admires, do you? Well, we better find whatever it is soon, or we'll meet a yummy sticky end. Oh man, don't they all? I can't do it, unfortunately. I only sign for chicks. What a punk. What an actual punk. Okay, so I gotta find this ring. And then maybe if I find the ring... I can trade it for an autograph? Oh my lord, what is this game, man? What is this game? Is it in here? Well, you got something? I'm looking for a ring. Okay. Autograph of the excess. Okay, gosh, I've never been given out an autograph before. That felt fantastic. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if push comes to shove, you just have to talk to everyone, right? And we'll figure it out eventually. So I didn't actually go talk to the big toddy. So maybe I should go inside there. Maybe he's got a quest that I have to take. So gold girl. Gold lady is in number two. She wants a gold ring. Big boy over here. What do you want? Sorry causing the commotion, but nah, that was good. Can't wait for dinner. Okay, great. This is one of those quests where it's just like, all right, got you. It's not fun for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Shell earrings. Where in the world am I gonna get the shell earrings? Yes, about this thief. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Got it. Maybe it's inside the shop. Maybe this toddy knows about it. Shell earrings. Uh-huh. No, he doesn't, probably. Um, maybe it's inside this present. It's a mystery. And the shell earrings are gonna come out. I gotta go talk to that ferret guy. He may have the shell earrings. But I also have... I also have this autograph. So six is that guy. This is the um, the little ferret dude. I was really looking forward to my popping on there. Okay. He's actually a rat. And then this is the bomb family. Okay, here we go. I got you an autograph, kid. Yeah, here you go. Enjoy. Yeah, bingo, mister. That's what I wanted. You're a good detective. Uh, here's something for you. It's a shine sprite. No, I don't want that. Are you kidding me? Hey, uh, what's a detective anyway? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nighttime. Uh, I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have the exact blanket counts. I mean, someone came aboard without a ticket. That stowaway just might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you can look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket... Oh my gosh, I don't have time. <laughs> I'm time for this mystery, man. I don't care about your dumb blanket. Yo, sleep in your little Todd hat. Alright, so now we need to go and talk to every single person. Who's an unticketed passenger? The rat. Paperwork done. Okay. Stay out of my... What did you just say? Stay out of my way for a while? Um, Stay out of your way for a while. Only someone suspicious would say something like that. You. What's this? There's an un unticketed passenger? Just as I suspected. The conductor was one blanket short. And hunting the lone intruder, that would definitely rule out the family in cabin 8. Rudimentary. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. You must strike out on your own with this little nugget and investigate a wisdom. Okay, cool, cool. For example, the unticketed passenger is without a doubt our yummy sticky suspect. Alright, so who do you think it is? I don't know where these earrings are. And I don't know where the gold ring is either. Are you an unticketed passenger? Are you unticketed? Oh, it's dinner time though. Shell earrings. Oh, look at this. Napkins and plates. Napkins and plates. Napkins and plates. Napkins and plates. Okay, cool. So there's no, like, golden ring on there. Hmm. Unticketed passenger. 
Who's in this room? This is just an empty room. Three is this big boy. Did you sneak on this train to eat the food? Then when I uh, came back, I heard noises again. It really spooked me. Would you mind checking that room for me? Yo, how's it going? It's going well, MAGA. Whoa, 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 I was not expecting that to work. Ah, so you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold the physical objects like pen or paper. What, you just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. <sighs> All I need is your life! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago, but I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I've kept since my earliest childhood days, and my fear that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this world, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Oh man, what a guy, because if you do, a horrible fate awaits you. This so really, really ridiculous. I don't know, is this the worst chapter in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? Is that, is that fact? All right, I'm just gonna go talk to these dudes one more time just to do my rounds, and then I'm gonna go all the way to the caboose and see what's up. Not a cool chapter. There's no action, there's no battles, there's no exploration. But, you know, I, I, I appreciate it because it's unique. Someone said it was the best chapter at the beginning of the screen. Well, I mean, everyone, everyone has their favorite chapters, right? Okay, did you find it? I did. Oh, what a ghost. Ah, and he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. Uh, you don't say no to ghosts. <laughs> the baggage car. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I'm inside a thing. Oh, it says foods. A box that says foods. No. Uh huh. What's that? So it was just a diary sticking out. What? Okay. You'd think there'd be something else in that car. Didn't he say it was in his baggage, though? Oh, did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Though I would like to see what's written in it. Yeah, that's kind of rude. Don't go reading diaries, man. All right. So he is in room number four. Mario's in number five. Okay, Ghost Toad. I did. Here we go. Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Your blanket is right here. You're very wise not to read my diary, friend. Oh, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. <laughs> but now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. I'm ascending. Keep on pressing the A button. I'm ascending. What? Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've kind of gotten used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll stay here just a while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ho, 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 ho. I should have tried to read that thing. Maybe I would have done a secret boss fight against that ghost. 
Okay, be cold, no more. Oh, thank you so much, and now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. What do I need this for? Toss it right back at you. It's getting late, Mario. You should just turn in for the night. If anything happens, I'll report to you immediately. Don't worry about a thing. How rude is that? You just throw his gift right back at him. Yikes, Mario. That's rude, dude. At least go into the next car and throw it away. Sorry, but in this run, a hot dog is greater than a singular mushroom. So, and we stocked up on dog haws, man. All right, here we go. Going to bed. Next day. Ugh. Hey, the conductor can handle the train, so let's grab a few winks, huh? Okay. Train voyage, day two. Let's get out of here. What happened now that I have to solve? Let's go into this area and see what's for breakfast. I got an email. Who cares? Uh, good morning. So, chance you've seen your earrings? No, I haven't seen the earrings yet. Stop asking me. Anything all's well? Good feeling day? Yep, yep. I will make food so delicious. Okay, cool. There's got to be something up with that shop. It's, it's a little too suspicious. Like, why is there a shop here? Uh, I saw nothing suspicious during the night. We'll be stopping at Riverside Station around dusk. Okay, well, let's just do our rounds. Good morning, thanks for the autograph. Okay, good, good. Uh-huh, Gonzalez. Yep, cool. Wait, where's the detective? Oh no, where's Ratman? Oh dang, yo, Ratman's gone. Oh, here he is. Oh, not good. If I don't find that thing, I'll be sacked for sure. My dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium uh, from a seashell and a bit of gold... Well then, the results are explosive! The resulting Goo Blast can immobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. <laughs> if it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, it could, I could lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. The shell earrings are gone, and a golden ring's gone too. Great. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the inter uh, intervening time. I have it. Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. Aha. Luigi, have you spoken to Waitress and the Lady in Cabin 2? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost the gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has a nitro honey syrup, they can make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in a note. So it's simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Zip Todd has to be the thief. Right? It can't be... <clears throat> it can't be Gold Girl. Can't be you. I don't know. Who do you think it is? It, it has to be Zip Todd, right? And it can't be the rat guy. Let's look at... Uh, is Ghost in here still? No, maybe only comes out. Alright, uh, big boy. What you got? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dining car. Yep, 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 yep. Zip Todd or the Conductor. Yeah, yeah. That Those are really good guesses. Are you still here? No, I have not found the gold ring. I have not found the shell earrings. But here we go. Zip Toddy Bugatti. Talk to me. Oh, a note! A vital paper.
A vital paper. So I guess I'm gonna go bring that back to the dude, but we're gonna go talk to the suspicious conductor. Cause where the heck is Zip Todd then? A vital note. Let's show the note to those guys and see what they have to say. Who could it be though? I don't know. I, and I honestly don't remember this. I don't remember this plot point from playing this game ages ago. You, open up. Take this note. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? I have. Here you go. It's a vital paper. What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Ah, that's one of my contracts for my upcoming business deal. That what? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Kevin One, you say? Yes, yeah, Zip Toad's room, a place I've long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere on the train. Always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Oh my gosh. Zip Toad, where are you? Could you be in the back? I could have sworn I looked in every room. Wait! Oh, this is rat room. Rat's room. No passengers allowed? Hold on, where is he then? Is Zip Toad hiding in the shop? Tell me where Zip Toad is. You know where he is. Did you see that Zip Toad? Came to last night's dinner, but I really have to say, he's like way cuter on the big screen. Maybe they all are. Why allow me to examine the plates and napkins? Where could this guy be? Maybe he's in my room. Holy moly. Could this be another clue? This paper is just like that last one. The suspect must be here somewhere. Where is this guy? Okay, this is ridiculous now. I've literally checked every single room for Zip Toddy Bugatti. Oh man. <sighs> Zip Toad. Hmm. <sighs> Where is he? Maybe because I just found that one extra piece of paper, we gotta go report back to the dude. How does anyone like this chapter? 
It's just like a lot of back and forth nonsense. Like this isn't Paper Mario. We had to do this in what in that one chapter in the original Paper Mario where we had to like talk to all the stupid flowers and get the sunshine or whatever. Zip toad though? All right, let me see. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's in the room that I have to go in. Maybe he's got, like, invisibility. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Oh, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Yeah, I will, though. That's the thing. Jump down. Jump down see what happens. Yout. This stupid kid. I hate this kid so much. So this is our man all along, pretending to be zip toed, I see. All the while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this is all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you're a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. <laughs> and not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses, I almost got away with it by getting off at the Riverside Station. Yes, you played a daring and genius little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, friend. And the good people in this train are now safe. Okay, good. Tell me this is done, because I, I hate this chapter. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, in any case, at least return what you've stolen, Fink. Blah. Punch him. A briefcase with the nitro honey syrup specs inside. And the gold ring. And the shell earrings. Ah, my precious briefcase. Is that the nitro? Is it safe? Yeah, here you go. Enjoy. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank the stars it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Rendezvous with disaster was diffused by the most rudimentary of deductions. Bing, bong, bing, bong. Attention, all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Okay. Great. Do I get off this train now? And I can explore a little bit here? Okay, there's like some healing, there's a save spot, I need to get a key somewhere. Like, get me off of this train. Ugh. I don't want to talk to any other of these passengers. Hey, I think not slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. What? It's a duplex! This whole zip toe thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, dupless. Beldum's plan to goof gooify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest of Beldum. See ya, suckers. I never thought I'd see him again. Alright, well, that's great. Let's get off this train. A dupless. Or is it the dupless? Okay, let's explore. Can't go on top of the train. Uh-huh, hey Bob. Bob, little bub. Healing. Blowed, what do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge and the train can't leave the station. What? How dare they? Who done it? A suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. 
But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So uh, probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but since you are the famous Mario and all, could you find and throw that switch? Yeah, fine, let's go. Here's the station key. Oh, thank you, I needed that. Thank you so much. Good. Hey, big boy. Uh, I've been cooped up in there breathing stale air. I want to go out and take a walk so I can build up an appetite for dinner. Oh my gosh, that guy is so me. Gotta build up an appetite for dinner? He's absolutely me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright, got it. Let's go. Open up! Okay, so now there's gonna be some battles. I can actually play? I can play- oh my, that's cool. It's a little badge I don't need, but thanks. Elevator key, but we don't have one. A wanted poster? For who? I don't know. Oh gosh, we're gonna burrito. On a burrito. Okay, stairway up. We look at that and fill it in. Great. Look at how great that worked out. I'm a burrito. Okay, okay, here we go. Making our way up top here. Any battles? Just an abandoned station? Okay. Hey, there we go. Yeah, come and fight me. Let's go, Cloud. Oh, you have a Mr. Silly? What's it called? Get eaten. 612, you're done. You don't have 12 HP. <laughs> Get eaten, you little marshmallow. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although, I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them anyway. HP 7, defense is 0, they swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock. Oh gosh! Ouch! I did not see that coming. Thank you though. Appreciate ya. Alright. They're too experienced to pop. <clears throat> Seem relatively easy to block if I can get it right. Gah! <laughs> What's their HP? Seven? Oh, yeah. You ready? Oh, six? That's trash! Uh-oh, that's gonna really hurt now. Great. What's Rally Wink? Wink at Mario to give him courage for an extra attack? Oh, yeah! Yo, when did you learn that? Yo, Mario goes again? Oh, baby! Oh, my best friend! Yo, Goombell is the best! Yo, my daughter! Oh, dude, Mario goes twice! How cool is that? Alright, well, I need a little bit more power, so... Dang, that is overkill. Oh, nice! Nice! Good. Good dip. Uh-huh, uh-huh, we're gonna jump over there. Oh, I saw that! You didn't think I'd see that, but I saw it. Alright, cool, cool. Don't get crushed. Okay. Okay, here we go. A little bit of, uh... A little bit of wonky. Uh-huh, yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Oh, we're gonna go flying, aren't we? Yes! That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Beautiful. <laughs> or I could have Koopa'd. Yeah, I probably, it probably would have been easier to Koopa that. <laughs> Rather than flying. <laughs> hey man, multiple, uh... Multiple solutions right here. Alright, so I got this key. What is that? That looks a little... Hold on. Yo, blow it! Are you kidding? Bobbery? It looks a little weird, doesn't it? Mm. Giving Mario an extra turn, though, costs FP, which stinks. 
Mario needs like one more attack power. I need P up, D down. Oh gosh! This is like a poison pokey and I can't jump on it either, which is unfortunate. Eight damage is beautiful. That's all I needed. So we're gonna do it. Oh my gosh. Who threw that? That's very rude. Okay, that's a poison pokey. As you probably guessed, it's poisonous pokey. Max HP is eight. Okay, defense is zero. If you get poison, your HP will slowly drain, and you may want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spinies all over, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Oh wait, I have spike badge on. Yeah, yeah, I could do some work. Yeah. Yahoo, yahoo. That's 12 damage. I forgot I got spike shield. Oh, so good. 12 damage from a double bounce bounce. Yeah, so good. Come on. Let's fight. So, I can do a couple things here. Mm. I can go quick. I hope that's enough. It's not because it's a weak hammer. Dang it. That's lame. Oh gosh, that was kind of cool. Watch me eat two hits and I die. And you can't do anything. Oh, I have an item, don't I? Where'd my pow block go? Ooh. Well, GG's Mario. I have to do this. I have to. Wait, what's stronger? Multi-bounce? Yeah. No, multi-bounce is gonna be good. Provided I can get them both. Okay, six and six for multi-bounce. I gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, I got a weak hammer. So a weak hammer is not gonna help out. I need some flowers. Give me some flowers, man. What is this? Why is this here? Oh, great. That's kind of cool, but I don't need it. Thunder Rage? Yeah, get out of here. Although, that'd be really good to have. Mm, Alright, no. You're making me do this, aren't you? That might come in handy. Otherwise, why give it to me? That's a big jump. Mara's jumps are way stronger than his hammer attack. Boom! Big one! I don't think I need Goombella anymore. Although, she's really good. Like, she'll give me another turn if I need to, but it costs four. Right? That's a lot. Okay, this is, a, okay, this is um, a little interesting. I want to see if I can jump on him. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he just swooped on in. This is also scary. I'm going to switch, and then we're going to go bounce on you. 510, what a strong girl. All right. And I'll take one hit and get poison for it. Please, can I have it? No. Okay, fine. Oh! So scary. Wow, that thing came quick. Yikes. Oh my gosh. No, Goombella's got huge HP, though. She's great. The perfect meat shield of a daughter. Look at that. I did my super jump on it. Boom, boom. Beautiful. Uh, look at how beautiful this is. These are just going swimmingly. Who needs HP? Whoa, that's what I was saying. We said that at the same time. That's so weird. I didn't actually read your comment. Dang, that's weird and awesome at the same time. Whoa. Hey, I saw that badge. What do you think? That's an FP badge? You think I need that? Ask me if I. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ask me if I need that. I need to sell it. That's what I need to do. Blow him. Uh, 
Uh, anyway. Anyone want to play? I will fight these buzzy parabuzzies. Okay, had to sneeze there, sorry. Um, thanks. All you guys that said bless you. I, again, forgot to take my, um... My allergy medicine. Great. That's a spike top. Dang it, I need to get the, the flying one. Ah, <sighs> allergy meds, go. I have to, I have to get one of you guys, like in the, in the bestiary, in the tatalog. Beautiful. S. Parabuzzy. <laughs> right? I take, like, I don't know. When I wasn't really leaving the house, I wasn't uh, taking my allergy med, like, because there's no point, right? I'm inside the house. I mean, there's no point in that. So, yeah, I wouldn't do it. But now it's just like, alright. I'm starting to go out every day. Whoa, gosh, that was scary. I did not see that coming. Holy cow, you're crazy. Finish him! <clears throat> oh, I can I can burrito slide down there. Yeah, I'm gonna burrito slide. I'm a burrito number one. We okay? Well, this is a little bit of a maze here. 50-50 shot on that split there, and uh, it didn't do me any good. Oh, I can roll back up? Yeah, I can. Okay, that's interesting. And I can jump, too. I thought it was a one-way ticket. This one's the way down, right? Oh, wow! I gotta make a jump? Holy moly, what is this? I guess it's allowing us to be a little bit more using of this uh, ability than just sliding under. Oh, great. Did I need to go down? Yeah, I did. Oh, sweet. P up, D down, baby! Yeah! Yeah, that's what I was looking for! Let's go, P up, D down. Alright, P up, D down. Oh, it's a twofer? I need something. I need more batch points. Need more batch points. Defend plus P up, D down. P up, D down. I need something. What do I have on that's for two? Flower plus? I mean... I don't necessarily need that. It's three. I don't need ice power. I don't think there's any fire enemies over here. So we're going to sec that. And then anything else? Meg Me Mega rush? Power rush? PFD down's good. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of mega rush. And I'm going to get rid of um, ice power. And we're going to put up PFD down. That's like super hyper offensive. Let's go. Yeah, P up D down. Oh my gosh, Mario is so strong now. So risky strong. You guys know what P up D down is, right? That's where um, you do one more damage, but you'll be taking one more damage. So your defense is down, your power is up. Which is fine, because it allows me to do awesome things like this. At least I hope I can. This is gonna hurt. This is absolutely gonna hurt. Um, maybe. I don't know. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I have the item! Thunder Rage! Oh good. I thought that they would go upside down for some reason, but this is good. It's fine. It came in handy. <clears throat> I need more badge points so I can get my badges back on. What's that over there? Hold on, hold on. Turn back. I need my coins. What's this? A dried shroom. Yuck. <clears throat> Got him. <clears throat> yeah, we're very close to leveling up. Yoink! Seven plus eight is massive damage. 
<clears throat> seven, seven, 14. Need more badge points. You guys wanna fight? Okay, that was a regular jump. See, I can't really have Goombella on my team here. Because she doesn't do anything against these guys. She's only a bouncer that does not have spike shield on. So I don't really want her. I should really switch her with Koops. Hang out with Mr. Koops. Okay, I didn't get the first hit. That's lame. Oh my gosh, that's too many of them. What's my multi-jump to? Seven? I mean, I could. It's not good. It's gonna cost a lot. But I do have. Never mind. It's fine. Check this out. And then we're gonna just slide right through them. Oh, you do seven too. Dang, what a strong kid. And then we level up and we get all our FP back, which is absolutely perfect. Guys, should we do HP? Maybe, sort of. Give me money. Okay, so now I got three more badge points. Let's put on some stuff. Uh, FP drain sounds really good, but my, I'm not going to be as strong anymore. HP plus is trash. You're never going to use that. Um, what do I want? Mega rush. I got two mega rushes I can put up. That's going to be interesting. Oh, I can put on power jump. If I put on power jump, that's going to be good against a boss. I should really have another multi-bounce. Because that would make it even stronger. Dang. Okay, so simplifier would be great to have. Just for the sake of it, right? It's like... If you have extra badge points, you might as well. And then, uh, FP Drain sounds really interesting, but I don't want to sacrifice the power of my stuff. And then Charge is something I'm not going to really use. So we're just going to slap on two Mega Rushes. Just in case, I'm in peril. Like, I'm at a point right now where I don't need these extra badge points because I don't have the badges. What was the point of all that? I'm sorry. What was the point of all this? Just to get a badge? I don't think I want to do the entire, like, burrito maze again. Was there... Um, maybe I have to? I don't know. I do not know, but these things look very, very suspicious. Hey, Wood. Okay, okay. Something suspicious over here. I don't know. Maybe I have to access it from over here and then just like fly on down. Just pick it up. Just drop in. Oh, look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Little burrito under the stair. Wee! Give me that HP plus. I'm gonna sell for real money. If any badge were to be sold, it'd be that one. <sighs> heavy sigh. Heavy sigh. So there is actually something I have to do here. So I'm forced to do some other stuff. I'm gonna try going this way. Okay, this is not the way to go. Okay, so I'm going to opt to go this way, and that was something interesting. Didn't I do that before? Okay, so no, there's only one way. Okay, let's just, let's look at this map really quick. See, the thing is, there's always, oh my gosh, there's always going to be new viewers that are going to come in and watch these videos and are like wondering, yo, Abdallah, what are you doing? Why aren't you buying on HP? That's what I did in my playthrough, and that's how I won. Right? Like, there's always going to be new viewers, so... If 
If I keep on going with the HP joke, it's hilarious. All right, let's play again. So I got to do like a little double jump. Hook. Yep, that's exactly it. That's exactly how you do the double jump. This is super annoying, by the way. Hello, hello. Okay, 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 okay. We're in, we're in. Wait, what am I doing in here? I don't think I need to be even be in here. What? I don't know, man. This is where the path kind of led me, though. Let's try one more spot. Garbage dump. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. There should be a door to the underground office somewhere over here. Thank you, Goombella. Thank you for confirming that. Hello. Here we go. We're going to go in here. TTYD is the best Paper Mario game hands down. I want to agree, but I have not played all of them to completion, so I can't agree with you. Sorry. Here we go. Thank you for the super chat. Amir um, Sharp. Okay, here we are. Ooh, a key. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Bouncing on this. Boing. No, that's not. <laughs> okay, well, let's see here. Let's see here. Time to get a little... Exhale action. Okay, blow on this. Nope. Blow on that. Here's the door. Mm hmm. Here's another door. Oh, Goombabwe. That's a simple Goombabwe? What is he doing here? Wrong level, guy. You're worth nothing. Okay. Are we all just gonna have a field day on these little kids? These are like from the first chapter. What are they here for? You guys are not worth my time. Oh, I don't even have to double jump these guys. Just go. Just so they're out of here. A single bump is good. And I'm gonna even power shield him. Look at that. We're just gonna even power shield. What is it called? A super guard. <clears throat> Super guard. Oh, dang, you're gonna double this experience right now? Oh, Merle, you spoil me. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that one. Whoa, you're gonna double it. Oh my gosh. Dang, guys, dang, look at that. Wow, though. Okay, okay, so there's obviously something here. Dang, you're gonna double that big experience. Experience. Okay, what in the world is with these? You'll blow on them. Okay, obviously blowing on them doesn't do anything. Maybe I gotta beat up all three Goombas and something happens? I don't know. Yoink. Oh, Flurry's here. Oh, Flurry's gonna do an attack. We haven't seen Flurry attack in like five chapters. Yo, give him a big body slam, girl. Line up the two cursors. Whoa. Right in his eye, right in his eye, Wee! Oh, crushed. Right in his eye. What's up, Mega Drive Animation Gamer? Became a member, hey, thank you, welcome. One, three, and ten? Excuse me? One, three, and ten. Well, that's one way of saying a, a number, right? You can do all the numbers with one, three, and ten. So if we do, um, 10, 3, 3, 3, 1, 10. Okay, well. That's 9. Okay, I honestly... I just cheesed that. I honestly cheesed that. Should I have known? Should I have read one of these books that set a clue on what that was? No clue. That was me just like cheesing this. Like, okay, so three obviously can be a nine. 
uh, and then add the one makes it a ten. Like that was something I just like automatically knew. But oh dang, new hammer time! What's up, Toddette? Okay, way to get the oh wait, ultra boots. Hold on, ultra boots. Uh, and you can use a new jump technique too. Let's practice it right now. A little hard. Okay, uh, hold down the A button and rotate. Do a spring jump. You need to rotate a lot before you press the A button. Hold down the A button. Oh, dang! Whoa! Spring jump can help you reach new areas since you can grab pipes above you. Move left or right along the pipe. Press B to let go. Wee! Okay. So that's how I'm gonna get all those blocks that are above me. Like in Glitzville. I can get that one and we can go from there. Oh, I don't want to do this again, but sure. We. The numbers were how many times you have to hit it before it turns red. Cool. Good to know. Okay, well, let's go to a pipe, because the pipe is right here. Oh, cool. Oh, that's lame. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Interesting. Very, very cool. I like this. I like this ability a lot. Oh, great. I was supposed to... Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> I love that. I love that because you can see, like, the, the light bulb. <clears throat> the light bulb just, uh, go off. And I'm gonna hit it with my head, I think. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there we go, the elevator key. Oh, this is so good. Now Mario's jump's gonna be even stronger. He's gonna be unstoppable. Yeah, backwards. Look at this guy. All right, let's get out of here, kiddo. So we made it to that room. There was something over there. And now we've got a better jump. I didn't understand what the point of, um, like, blowing off those portraits, those little posters over there. I didn't understand what that was all about. Maybe if I blow them off in a certain order? Nah. Alright, elevator key. Let's go, Goombella, my best character. Wow, I'm just imagining right now, me going up against the boss with Goombella and using Goombella's, oh my lord, what is it? Using Goombella's like, tattle kiss or whatever it is? Whoa, Mario, what are these things doing here? They're disgusting. Do you think these gross things flip the switch? Let's hurry up and find it so we can switch it back. Okay. What are those things? Was that it? There wasn't really any bosses over there. I wanted more battles than just the little pokies and the clouds, but it's okay. As long as I don't have to do any more stupid sleuthing on that train, I'm gonna be okay. Alright, that was great and all, but uh, we gotta go. Three and a half hours on the stream, dang man. How many of you guys have been here since the beginning? Hands up. Hands up. I know a lot of you guys have, thanks. Oh man. Hmm. 
Oh. So now I got a new thing in my repertoire. Uh, this one's gonna be close call P. It's pretty okay. It's not the best, but. Orange Man, Ming, Little Carrot, Ant. Yeah. A lot of you guys. Thanks for coming. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly save because I don't want anything to happen and I don't wanna have to redo all that in case I die. Alright, so now that that's done, all aboard. All aboard. Spam. Okay, that was a nice little rest, but I don't think that the train thing is done. There has, there's got to be some more sleuthing, right? Don't forget about that, Toad. How's he gonna get on? Oh, you left Blowed behind. He's the guy that's supposed to be in the back, right? He's not even waving or reacting. Staring into your soul. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers, Thanks you, thank you for riding the Excess Express. Our next stop is our last Poshley Heights. All right, let's go to bed. I'm going to bed, Mario's tired. He doesn't wanna play detective anymore. Train voyage, day three. Ah, new day, and it's such a totally cool and brisk morning. Great. Let me guess, I gotta go talk to every single person and see what else is missing. Wow, people are gone. No chef? Oh, what's in the back? Oh, the door looks like it might open, but not quite. I, you saw those, right? Did you see them? Oh my gosh, no one's here. Uh-oh, what about the detective's cabin? Oh my gosh, dude, no one got on this train. We're gonna have to fight those little ghosty looking things. All right, here we go. We'll talk to the, uh, the guy, the train driver, that dude. Nothing in my room, I'm not gonna go there. Another email? Stop, dude. Get all this spam email, dude. <laughs> you sign up for one newsletter and you get a whole bunch more. What the heck? Sell your information to other companies, that's what they're doing. How dare they? Okay, absolutely no one. I still have the gold ring and the earrings, don't I? Who's driving this thing? Ah, uh, good morning, sir. It's quite, uh, it's quite quiet this morning, wouldn't you say? Huh? Is there something on the windshield? Oh my gosh. Yeah, what are these things? Whoa, aren't those things from the station yesterday? They must have stowed away. Oh, what sh sh should I d d do? Uh, first you have to ensure the passenger's safety. But I have to c keep driving. The train! Mama Mario, can you check on the passengers? The passengers are gone, dude. I've already checked. They're gone. They've been absorbed. Just like that one toad that got eaten by Hooktail. These guys are everywhere. Can I break a window and get them? Like, break the emergency glass? Break? Come on. Should I just Admiral Bobbery those windows and just blow them up? I, I don't think I want to check on the passengers. I think I'm just going to go to the back because I've already checked on them. No one's there. It's just going to be windows full of all these little turds. And then we got to go into the back. Wow, even the shop too.
There we go. Let's fight. Smorg, 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 Smorg. Smorg is bored. Oh my gosh, they're totally inside the train now. Let's take them out. Let's. Oh, come on. I want to actually fight them. Oh my gosh, I hit someone. Oh my. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible. Please help him. Oh my gosh, there he is. Ah, Detective Mara, you saved us again. Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. They seem to have come into the baggage car through that open window. And they still have many of our paying passengers, those poor souls. Alright, well, we know what to do. Let's pipe up, baby. Oops. Let's go, Monkey Mario. <laughs> oh my. I just gotta hack right through them. They keep on pushing me off. Do a little spin. Flick him away. It's a lot of these guys. I want to battle them though, like fuzzies though, you know? S'more! Did I save beforehand? Oh goodness, I hope I did. Whoa! Hey! What is that gross thing? No! Mario, look, it's got the other passengers. Help! Even the rat dude. Ah! What in the world? Smorg. Okay, it's a battle against Smorg. Smorg as board. Can't flee the fight. Okay, interesting. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're all we're all ready to go. Smorg. Snack world. That's a Smorg. A lot of Smorgs gathered to create this huge monster. Max HP 50, attack 5, defense 1. It's attacks. It attacks with weird tentacles. Defeating the tentacles will drop the body's defense to zero, making it easier to attack. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? It may also take on other forms with higher attack powers. I don't really know. Let's just hurry and beat this thing down so we can try to save those trapped passengers. Oh my. So, yeah, multi-jump is probably the best thing to do right now. Multi-bounce. I don't know the timing or where I'm going to jump, so I'm probably going to miss this. Smorg Miasma? Oh, interesting. I kind of want to tattle one of those. I'm sure I'll get another opportunity to. Okay, I already have Smorg. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I guess like a multi-bonkerson? Yeah, we could do it. <laughs> I don't know her timing! Yowie! Power balance, baby. Get ready for it. I could have finished him in one blow had my timing been a little bit... Or, oh my gosh, help me! Yo! Help! What is happening? When do I press it? Ye Yo! Oh my gosh, 10! That could have KO'd me! That could have KO'd me! Hold on, Tattletale tell on the Smorg Miasma. Oh, you can't. What if I just KO it?
One HP left? Come on, girlfriend. Do I risk it? Just go for the one jump and be done? I got a life stream. 17! <laughs> Are you done? Don't tell me that's the boss. Smorg, small. I could have done that boss honestly. I honestly could have done that boss with one HP. <sighs> thank you. Boy, it's like all you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you much. You shaved my life. No, stupid tongue of mine. You saved my life. So, did you all know this dashing fellow has been the famous Luigi all along? Uh, we will soon arrive at Poshley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. I kind of want there to be more than that. Yo, did you see me do 17 damage on a bonk? On one jump, 17. And then another one, another 17. Oh my gosh. Yo. Bing bong bing bong. Attention all passengers, now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the Excess Express. We're finally here, Mario. Let's hurry up and find the Poshley Sanctum that the, that the professor was talking about. How much health do I have? Uh, I kind of want to save. Dang! 1734 in one jump! That's good. That's due to the two Mega Rush badges I have on. Imagine. Imagine the hyper-offensive prowess that I can do. Seventeen thirty-four. I will be thinking about that for a long time. The rat! Okay, we're gonna save here instead. But we don't have the crystal star. That was just like a sub-boss? Where's the actual real boss? Oh my gosh. Just when we thought we were done. Hey, you live here? Nice. Piano. Here, let me play the keys. Have you found my gold ring? I have. Here you go. What can you give me for it? Yeah, that's uh, definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, uh, glo you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It's merely a trifle, but take this as my earnest thanks. 30 coins. Great. I lost that gambling earlier, so... That's okay. 30 coins is actually nothing, considering how lavish of a life you live. For your gold ring? Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know if it does anything, but I'm gonna blow on this. Am I thinking too much into it? Come on, you would have thought the exact same thing. You would have done the exact same thing. I know you would have. Let me check your drawers. Thanks for the 30 coins, though. Alright, I gotta find the little girl and her shell earrings, too. Poshley Heights. What is this place? Hey, what's up, bub? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, oh, cool. Awesome, thanks. Yo, who lives here? Who lives here? Oh, man. Oh, what is this? It looks like a face. Hold on, there's more to meets the eye than... Uh... Okay, I see that. I see that on the wall. Get to blowing! Okay, we're not. Get to blowing! Nope! Noah, what's up, Noah? Welcome. What's the point of this house? Oh, okay, we're gonna do this. Yahoo! Oh my gosh. Wait, but Mario wants to swing from the chandelier. Okay, there's obviously something I'm missing there. What's in the pool? There can't be a shark in that pool. I just died! Because Mario jumped in a pool? No, son. Because Mario jumped in a pool, he died. You never die from jumping in a pool. Good thing I saved 20 times. 
my one HP, I went there to explore the stupid house that is obviously super conspicuous. Wow, Mario straight died from going into someone's backyard pool. What a joke. Give me that money. That's you believable, man. I didn't even die against the mid-boss, but I died against the, uh, a lounge pool. Can you believe that? Okay, well that was worth exploring for. I'm not gonna go anywhere near that pool, dude. There's something in that house I don't really want to find out either. Yeah, that's right, the moral of the story, don't be trespassing or else you never know what kind of sharks are gonna be inside uh, people's pools. Hello, pengies! I guess it's sort of fun to live here. Yep, yep. Hey, that's a little Easter egg. You guys see that right there? Um, that little, that train over there. That's the old train from Paper Mario. That's a train model. Shiver City. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. The, the old train model. I knew it. I, I knew it from a mile away. There was going to be something hidden there. Let's see. Let's see what else. Nothing? Nothing? What does it say? Hot dog? Hotel? Oh my gosh. Hot... Hey, Grode! Welcome to you. How'd you like to buy some fresh pasta? 50 coins? Pff, no. Fresh pasta would be great as like a cooking ingredient. Absolutely. But, uh, no. We don't need that. We got hot dog life. It's budget and it works. So here's a brand new hotel. Let's see. It's, is it a haunted hotel? I don't know. Luigi's Mansion. Hey, uh, Royal Poshley Tower, okay, Pinnacle Posh, that's 30 coins, no thanks. I do have an in coupon though, this stupid guy. Mm-hmm, 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 yeah, I don't care about you. So why would I have to go and stay in here? What's up with this hotel? See, this is why you gotta keep those in coupons and not waste them on like the five coin ins or the 10 coin ins, so you can use them over here. And you could have, uh, you could feel the warmth and luxury that you deserve. Andriana Furs. Alright, alright. Cool bed, though. Oh, nice. Nice view. Great. Awesome. Cool. Look at that. You can feel the warmth and luxury that you deserve. <laughs> Does anyone know what that is? Maybe, like, Chicago locals will know what that is. <laughs> I think, yeah. I think that only Chicago locals will know what that is. If you were like, if you lived in Chicago in the 90s, then you'd know exactly what that is. What's up, cheerleaders? Hey, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. Traveling Sisters 3. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'm not going to jump at all into... Wow, Shy Guys. That one's not pouring. Why isn't that one pouring? Oh, that one's not pouring either. People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. I say, no way, Jose. Okay. Yeah, don't ask me. Flavor text. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come join me, guy. <laughs> guy. Hey, I need to open that door. Possibly Heights. Yep, yep, yep. Uh-huh, famous building. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, gonna get this. Yeah, well... And there's a note on the door. Notice for eviction. Gone traveling, Sanctum Manager. What? No way, this is super weak. What do we do? Ah, oh, it's my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Wait, you live here? What? You... That's what I said. And then the game said it. Creepy. So you're the Sanctum Manager? I totally thought you were a detective. Well, yes, that is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, hmm? Shall we go inside? Yes, yes, yes. Creepy, huh? Oh, Dupless! No! I gotta fight these turds? Oh, great, I'm gonna lose. Wee you're one step too late. We have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. 
<laughs> oh no, we're too late. We gotta go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Yeah, it's quite rudimentary. So you were looking for the crystal star in this thing, Sanctum. Oh, 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 yes, very interesting. No cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Uh, yes, quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring, a fake. The real one is hidden somewhere in this sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, uh, I don't know. As uh, to the location of the real crystal star, as a sanctum manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I do know where it is, of course. Uh, of that, you can be most certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I'm the... I'm sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Now, Luigi. Put to use all your razor-sharp sleuthing skills I have taught you. Make me proud. Mm, great. Mm, yes. This is this is Goombella. She's my daughter. She's your daughter? Yes. Mario's daughter or Luigi's secretly? I don't know. There's a lot of things going on. You only got questions here. Yeah, I don't have the answers. I'm in the middle of sleuthing out here. Somebody likes Clue. Yeah, somebody likes Clue. The movie. Yeah, I don't know. I see you. Tim Curry. That's my favorite movie. Yeah, that's a good one. What? All right, here we go. Oof, in my head. No, no, she's fine. But no one to say hi to you. Milo wanted to say hi to me? That's great. Yeah, but now he's busy. If you look that way, you'll see why. Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Milo. Milo, you're the best boyfriend. Milo's the best cat. You're welcome. Miloshka. Oh, there he is. There he is. The sea at himself. I helped you find that. Yeah, thanks, Milo. Hi, Milo. Hey, buddy. Hi, dude. Oh, pink ghosts? Uh oh, I might lose. I better heal up. I do not want to eat a pink ghost. But I will fight them. No, I will not fight them. I'm just gonna get the Crystal Star. Do I have to fight them? I will fight them, I guess. It's good level up fodder. I might be able to just KO them all. 18! 20! Oh gosh, it's over. I'll beat them all up. With 18 and 20 jumps? It's a dark boob. Uh, purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is 8. Uh-huh. HP and attack are high, but they're ordinary boos. Otherwise, oh my, that's a cat. Thank you. Uh, just get it before it turns invisible. <clears throat> Yo, you guys want some of this? Come here. I actually need to, I need to get some FP. Yes, like that, that is one FP, and I'll take a slow shroom, I'll throw it at them. I have to get the advantage though, that's the thing. If I don't get, oh, I did struck first, okay, good, good. Because I don't, I don't know if Goombella can take him solo. Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out. You know, can you take him solo? You do 10, right? Yeah, 5, 10. Oh, this is so easy. It's just easy fodder for experience and coins, so I might as well do it. And I accidentally ate a heart off the floor, which is terrible because now I'm not doing, like, massive damage. So it's okay. I can still knock him out in one turn. So I guess that's that. Yeah, we're just gonna clean up all these boos. Still very powerful. 
But Peril Mario is a, a threat to be we uh, reckoned with. He's so good. The penguin calls me Luigi because he recognized me the first time he met me. He said, hmm, I'm such a good detective. My detective skills, I see your nose and your mustache. You must be the famous Luigi. And Mario never corrected him. Okay, that cat is shredding cardboard. Yeah, I know. That's my cardboard thing I need, though. <laughs> I need somehow to, like, lose 1 HP. Oh, now 2 HP. So, like, I, I have to, like, go inside the pool, or the fountain, at least two times to lower my HP a little bit. Hmm. He did what? Okay, that's good. Which one? The upstairs one? You made one upstairs? Okay. You're detectiving. Alright, the electricity is gonna come and that's gonna hurt. <clears throat> yeah, Oreo has his own scratching post in the form of these cardboard boxes in the basement. Alright, the last ghost. He likes the cardboard scratcher. Yeah. Doesn't care for the clock. Uh, yeah, the carpet scratchers? No, I don't like that one. Super cool. Yeah, we are crushing these souls right now. Especially the one... Oh, look at that, we just got a full-on level up. It just felt like. Alright, is that the crystal star or is that a fake? You got the crystal star. Okay, great. So that was the real one and we got a skill called Showstopper. I'm not done! There was still an area to jump all the way up! There's still things to do! I should have explored. I thought it was another fake. I thought he hid two fakes in there. But no, Mario found the six crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshly Heights Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains, but our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be and where is Peach being held? Hoping this crystal star might yield answer, Mario and friends return to Pennington. Okay, guys, that's it. We're gonna save the game right here. We had a fun time. I hope you guys all enjoyed the live stream. It's about four hours on the dot, just about. That's crazy. So yeah, what did you guys think of the chapter? Did you guys like the the Who Done It, the little murder mystery that we had to solve? I didn't like it at all. I thought it was actually kind of boring, but it's okay. I think it kind of just ramped up. Like it was super boring at the beginning, and then like it kind of just like peaked up a little bit. We bought, we beat that mini boss, and then. I don't know, and then just kind of went down again, right? Because then, I don't know. It's a weird chapter, uh, definitely not one of my favorites. There were better chapters than this, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you guys didn't already see my uh, channel, this was my Spike Shield where I was looking on game FAQs. Hold on, that's Rocco's face. Yeah, pay for that, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, now I have to pay Rocco. <laughs> All right, you guys can pay Rocco. Um, here we go, Road to the Paper Mario Origami King. Do that, watch it. Watch all the Paper Mario videos. It's gonna be a fun time. Um, yeah, and then of course we've got this one over here, July 16th. How many of you guys are gonna be there? Hands up in the comments. It's a ways away, but in the meantime, we'll get it. It'll be really good, so thanks so much. All right, we'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. I'm gonna go eat some food. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for all the members that came on board and all the super chats that you guys dropped, all the, uh, the birthday wishes from the other day. Thank you. Next chapter is going to be good. Okay, next chapter is going to open up everything. We're going to spend a lot of time preparing our badges. We're going to do a lot of work. It'll be so much fun. So join me right around the same time, and it'll be a super great time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Take care.